it was good. It was still it was good good crack. Um, the other guy that was actually on the well, one of the guys that the, the Penny Dragon fella brought on the panel was this guy Keen Larkin. He he runs the the, the D and D island. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was um. Because I think your man Paddy had brought him on for like do a couple of blog articles or something, but uh, I was chatting to him. But he said he he uh, fair play to him. He had interviewed for Wizards of the Coast, and he got through like five rounds of interviews. Um, and then on the fifth one, they said, "Would you relocate to I presumably to Seattle?" And yeah. Like, no, yeah, but, like no. why didn't you ask me that? <laughs> the interview number one. In the first one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. so so just for anybody uh, joining the stream, we have a celebrity uh, in there in the middle. In uh, the third down is uh, fresh from Comic Con uh, on a panel with Ron Perlman and sixteen other people. But um, so so did, did you pay the sixty five euros to get Perlman's autograph? No, I didn't even see him. I, to be honest, I didn't even really get to go around much. It was a bit of a pain in a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, but, but uh, you know. Um, I was there was actually chatting to a, a cork woman who was in the, the food court. We were sitting at the same table, herself and her fella, and she couldn't get over the fact of how old Ron Perlman looked. She kept slagging him off and saying that, my, you know, my my granddad is eighty-two and he looks better than him. Yeah. <laughs> but Perlman is he's always looked that way. Yeah, no, yeah. I was like, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, but he yeah. is quite old, I'd say, isn't he? Well, yeah. yeah, I think he looked. I think he was like yeah. seventy or something, seventy-one or something, yeah. something like that. I mean, he was in that. He film he played a sniper. I can't remember what the film was. That was ancient. It was in the eighties, maybe late eighties. Yeah, early nineties. Um... Was, was he in Stalingrad? Maybe that was it. Was he a sniper? Yeah, he was with the good-looking Brit guy. I can't think of his name. Um... <laughs> I don't remember the film for the good-looking Brit guy. Yeah, all, he's just another brick boy. I, yeah. I don't remember brick. What was the one? Is it enemy? Is it enemy at the gate? Yeah. One with Jude, Jude Law and Jude Law. That's, 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 that's the one you're thinking of. So is enemy at the gate? Yeah, he was in. He, I knew he was in one of those big uh, World War Two y sort of remake films. Uh, yeah. And like the first right, hell, like the first Hellboy is quite old as well, isn't it? Yeah, like two thousand three or something, is it? It's something yeah, like so that. Twenty years old. Twenty now. years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, and I think he was in his, he was fifty anyway when he was. There. Yeah. Yeah. If it's from this, if fits from this century, it's not old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can keep te we keep telling ourselves that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, it is. Nah, the kids uh, wouldn't know, but we do. Yeah, yeah. You, you must be the oldest in there, like. <laughs> Calling them out live on the internet, is it? Yeah, I know this is it. Yeah, Duncan, yeah, but off. But but, 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 I, but I've aged, I've aged better than you, Becky. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll get those pictures again. Will I? Where was that? Actually, no, no, no. Becky's gonna... character is one hundred percent dying tonight. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I am. Go... Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna. I tell you, why did... I'm gonna find gonna, those pictures yeah, there now somewhere. I'm gonna, gonna read be... some. I I, some forbidden... I I tidied it up and I can't find any. Text to get the yeah, read read some forbidden like Cthulhu text yeah. and she's gonna age like a hundred years. Yeah. You know, she'll go. No, like just, just uh, and, uh, hang on a second. Last crusade. April. <laughs> What's it? April or May, June, July, August, September, up to November, November, December. So I'm going to age you eight and a half months so you're older than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so, um, so uh, yeah, where were we? Last week. Um, how are we? Oh, jeez. I don't, I don't know. It's four weeks ago. Um, okay, I will go over the character sheets. So, Dunn, I could just ask the thing about the character sheets. So, uh, if you open up your character sheet, uh, so if you double click on your icon or whatever, uh, it should bring up your character sheet. Does it double click on it? Yeah. So, for example, on your character sheet, you will see uh, the main things you can do. There's a summary one, which is uh, just the, the, the few stats, uh, or you can maximize it, which gives you the full one. And that's done by on the very top bar uh, after your name to the right of your name. You'll either say summarize or maximize, depending on whatever you want to do after that. The important character, the important things down the left hand side are your hit points. So, if, for example, at the moment I have Edmunds opened, and it's shown that he's nine out of nine uh, hit points. 
uh, in the big box block below that then is sanity and it says for example Edmund is 87 out of a possible 99 and it says his daily is one out of 17 now what that means is he's lost one sanity point since he last rested if he reaches his other number now I know Robert yours is actually quite low I think yours is like 10 or something if you reach uh, your other number so if you lose five sanity points in one go or if you reach your daily sanity level, uh, you go uh, you go insane. Um, so that's what they're tracking. They get reset uh, when you take a rest. Um, magic points then, as shown you, uh, Edmund have 80 and out of 80. Oh yeah, that's how much magic you, you, the ability you can use. Magic is weird in Cthulhu. Once you start becoming a believer, uh, you get uh, an ability to cast spells and that and learn spells and that's your Cthulhu Mythos car uh, spec that's in it. Uh, what's very interesting in Cthulhu is you can learn a spell and you can constantly recast it like you know magic uh, missile and all that sort of stuff but if you see a monster doing a spell you can actually attempt it at any stage. Now if you pull it off and it works for you that's fine it doesn't mean you'll be able to successfully do it the next time unless if you learn it then you can keep on doing it. Uh, but it does make you go a little bit mad and it uses up magic points. Uh, we're probably we're probably a, a not getting to spells this in this session, but I don't know, maybe as well. Um, but when spells become available, our stuff starts happening, we'll, start, we'll explain a bit more on them. But this Cthulhu is not D&D, you won't be throwing spells around for the laugh. Monsters might be, but you won't necessarily. They will, they're a good way to go mad. Um, Put it that way. <laughs> uh, so where we finished last week was um, you guys decided to head off to Innsmouth to you do a lot of clues were leading you there. One of the missing characters, you found an article in a newspaper about Brian Burnham who'd gone missing. He was a clerk, a young uh, teenage clerk uh, working in the first national grocery store. And the papers widely reported he'd gone missing. You also found a link to him to, to another missing boy, the mayor's son, uh, Nathaniel. And you said uh, you just but his there was a bit of a backstory there about the mayor had gotten the two boys had gotten up to uh, shenanigans in uh, Arkham, got arrested. Uh, the mayor's son got released. Burnham had to spend the night in prison. Uh, so there was a bit of you don't know. And, and the mayor covered up the son's dealings in that. Anyway, you decided with your talking pig to head off to Innsmouth. Um, you were going to keep the pig in your hotel room, but you decided against that. So you decided to bring the pig witches. So you got to Innsmouth with pig uh, in tow, and uh, you then um, went to the marshes. And the, the reason you went to the marshes where the mob thought you were, uh, when they heard you in the room next door, they thought you were the strike breakers that they'd heard from, hired from out of town. So they roped you into going on a mission the next day to... Uh, to lean on the Marsh Brothers because there was gold and that that was owing to the mob and it wasn't making its way to them. So uh, they also told you that Ralston Marsh had petitioned the mob for uh, security detail. You got there, uh, you found out that uh, Marsh, Ralsa Marsh had been, was being threatened by some local uh, Quinton Avril in the town. It turned out that he'd raped Avril's sister and she'd committed suicide. Uh, and Avril had sworn that he was going to release a demon to kill Ralsa Marsh and Ralsa wanted protection. Uh, you then found the, in the basement of the Marshes that they had a small little mock-up operating table and they too uh, young flies, uh, uh were imprisoned there. You rescued them, uh, you beat up Mar Ralsa Marsh a bit, you locked him into one of the cells, you broke the key in the lock um, while his brother, the doctor, was out and about. He spotted you as you all sort of tumbled into the van. Uh, you headed off in the van and you were going to go to the first national grocery store where all the uh, the newspapers were purporting to this new guy had gone missing. One thing though you did see there was an update uh, in the newspapers that the missing boy Brian Burnham from the First National Grocery Store had actually been arrested and it was in custody and then had escaped custody from ins and out. So you were heading off there to see what on earth was going on there because it didn't really ring true. You had left word in the uh, your guest house uh, in case uh, Derek uh, 
uh, whisked the FBI agent came back to tell him that you were heading off to follow up on the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Um, and that's where we left it. So you have pulled up. Derek obviously hasn't met up with you yet, but you guys have pulled up uh, outside the um, grocery store. Oh, yeah, sorry. Just one, one thing on your settings. If you're finding your machines running sluggish, remember, and it doesn't seem to hold a setting. If you go up on your menu bar in Foundry, there's a cog up the top right hand corner. If you click on that, you can set a uh, customize or configure, what's it again? Configure settings. Uh, and down near the end of that, uh, there's performance mode, which you can change from say high to medium or even low. And there's a frame rate and the frame rate defaults to 60 FPS. There's no need to have it at 60. You can change that down to 10. It doesn't seem to save those settings. I'm not sure why uh, in Chrome. I think maybe because we use a different IP address each time. So that, that might speed up your processor a bit, take a bit of. So that's the story with that. Any questions before we, we kick off? Uh, no. the, these just it was this uh, these lovely letters was that anything that's not in game or is that just flavor for outside the game or did we actually receive letters uh, you probably have received letters but you wouldn't have received them while you're in Innsmouth you might receive them when yeah, you get okay. back to yeah, yeah. so in game you wouldn't wouldn't have got them yet but I can't oh, yeah, control the post it. system <laughs> yeah sorry yeah just in case that was just in case. <laughs> and there, there are souvenir coins. There's, no. souvenir, there's souvenir coins that yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we launch, we'll sell on our channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, that's it for me. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, you guys, uh, you pull up outside where you can see there's five years, and you have the two kids that are in the back of the van with the pig uh, at the present. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so you pull up and... Uh, you pull up in the van and obviously some of you are in the back as well because there's only what did we say there was two seats in the front there was four seats in the front wasn't it there was four seats in the front yeah two and two and then the van oh yeah and Dunica, they they the, the mob gave them a dr j's elixir van uh to drive around in so okay. that's what you said driving <laughs> around in yeah so <laughs> Oh, sorry, the game is paused. You can't move your characters. So, um, sorry, let me just unpause. Okay, so. Right, so you get out of the van, I presume. Uh, I'll describe the street. So you're, you're out of the van and you're too... Uh, where am I moving my mouse there at the moment? That is, there's a sign up saying First National uh, Groceries. Um, and the one thing you notice straight away about First National uh, Grocery Store... Um, First National Grocery Store was a real grocery store in the 20s. It was actually an Irish guy got a loan uh, from the First National Bank uh, to set up the grocery chain, and he got it. That's why he named it after the bank, First National. They called it First National Grocery Stores. And I think it existed until the 1970s in America, until it was bought by Target. Um, so First National Grocery is a, and you notice it's a, it's, first of all, it's a brick building. A lot of the other buildings are quite shabby in town, and it seems to be very modern. Uh, compared to the rest of the buildings and it even has exterior electric lights um, and uh, it's very clean and it's very it stands out uh, the rest of the rest of the town is quite sort of dank and seedy I'll um, sh just show sort of this sort of picture is a bit representative you might have to they don't they don't ex they don't expand naturally you might have to drag that so that's the type of sort of shitty sort of um, uh, so there's uh, you can see First National is there. Um, there's a, a very shoddy hotel opposite you called Gilman's. And you can see it. Uh, uh, you can see Gilman's there across the road. You really wouldn't want to, to stay there uh, unless you were, you were desperate to. Um, sorry, I closed down my own notes. Down, down to the left of the picture below it, um, there's a couple of other buildings. You notice at the very sort of building down the bottom that's in view uh, on the opposite side of the road, there are two guys uh, standing outside, they're sort of looking in your direction. They're a good, they're a good distance away, uh, but you can see they're, they're obviously talking and they're looking over at you. 
Mm-hmm. And as you uh, as you're standing there outside the shop, a car comes around the corner and pulls up beside you. And out gets your co-party member, uh, Derek Whist. So you have two vehicles. Okay. Excellent, Derek. Yeah. This is uh, his own cars. He hasn't got a cab here or something. This is his. I, it's probably a government owned. You'll have to ask him. I don't know. It's government owned. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Or who am I with? The agency? It's you're oh, you're fr- the FBI. You're, you're an FBI we're agent. Agency. What are the FBI? Uh, they weren't called the FBI. I think they were just the bureau. I think was what they were called. The bureau. Yeah, I think that's right. The federal bureau. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's the bureau of car, definitely. Huh. It has those little runners you can stand on the side of shooting off from later on when you want to. <laughs> oh, we should do that. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it's not a parking job. It's just got to kind of up on the curve and on the side. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh Jesus! I think he's got our best drive auto skill as well. He that? does, yeah. <laughs> sure, well, he does he's that. our best driver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, glass and out and put my jacket and put my cap on. Oh yeah, can't go anywhere without your cap. No, definitely not. Okay, so you're at the. Um... You're, you're outside the First National. Uh, the door to the First National is just down here. I don't know if you can see my mouse or my... Yeah. Thing okay. Here. So what's the plan? I know I'm trying to find it. <laughs> so what is oh, that here? We, we, oh. Yeah, because we have the kids. So, I mean, at least on the face of it, I thought we kind of have the excuse. At, at the very least... <laughs> Even if we can't get any info, we can get beef jerky or something for these kids who've been starving in a dungeon. <laughs> so you have the mystery wagon, and there's two starving kids tied up in the back of it. We're not tied up. We're not that bad. They're oh, very mighty. No, they came willingly. We, we, we know what it looks like. <laughs> so it, it's nothing like it. <laughs> Look, I may be, I may be an 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 elderly beardy man, okay, <laughs> with a mystery van with two kids in the back of it, <laughs> and I may be single, and I have been single my whole life. <laughs> we can't read too much into these details. Yeah, I'll definitely be close for a while, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't forget the pig. We have the pig with the kids as well. Oh, yeah. Is the yeah. talking pig in there? Yeah, he's in the back yeah. of the van as well. <laughs> yeah, we got, a, we got a van and a talking animal. We're not a uh, we're we're not nonces. We're, uh, we're the, the Scooby Gang. Indeed, went for something dark and gritty like Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah. oh. Okay, so if we go in here with a plan, what what information are we looking for from from this place? Does anybody remember? I mean, more detail, maybe even about the day that Brian, uh, that Brian Burnham disappeared, or was anyone hanging around, or? And has actually, he... yeah, would he have any idea where he'd be if he had a yeah. plan from the prison? Was he acting strange? Well, we yeah. will probably have to have. Well, I mean, we mightn't have to have too much of a cover if we've got. Uh, a couple yeah. of law enforcement yeah. guys with us that can flash a badge. Yeah, we could just you know. pretend to be shopping in the shop and they could be doing all the talking while we're listening or something. Yeah, yeah we could. We could We could have a little look around while the, yeah. the, the law men are keeping them kind of occupied. Yeah, yeah, what do you reckon? I go with that. Okay, well, well, the door is here. That's where the door is. I think it is the door here, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. Okay, so maybe the rest of us might go in a, uh, maybe a minute I, or whatever. I remember. Oh, le- yeah, le- left cl- we're looking for food for the kids and anyways. Yeah. 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 Left clicking on the, yeah. the mouse on the door is uh, how you open it. So it is the opening. Okay. Left. Oh, yeah, left. <laughs> and if it makes a noise, it means uh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. Chick, chick, chick thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you get up there and you know the door is locked. So the place, the place is locked up. And um, somebody give me uh, an investigation check there, please. Does anybody remember what, um, like roughly what time it, it is? 
Okay, so good question. You left fairly, uh, you had your breakfast around eight or eight o'clock, I presume. It was about a half an hour's drive. Um, you got there on nine ish. Like we got there yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, so it's probably no later than 11. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's after opening now. It's not. Oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. 6 a.m. or even yeah. 5 a.m. Yeah. Is, is anyone rolling an investigation check there? Yeah, we're looking for. Or, um,. Might be doing spot hidden yeah, or what is it? something. Else. Okay, yeah. Actually, you don't even need to do a spot hidden. You notice there's a sign in the door that says temporarily closed. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and underneath it, it says uh, uh, looking for staff. Yeah. So hmm. as you're looking at the door, uh, you notice uh, there is this youngish uh, girl and she's sort of at the corner of the building and she's uh, heads towards you and she's looking back at her over, over her shoulder at the two guys who are watching us down at the bottom of the street are there any other shops that sell food around here um okay that's a good question so yeah there is um well, you you won't know. You can't really see from like there's names over the doors. Like if if you look at the the street where the two guys are standing, um, there's Waits, W A I T E, as in like sort of Tom Waits, uh, is the name of the shop over oh. there. Uh, this is the girl. I'm just gonna throw up a picture there of uh, this is girl. Uh, this is who this uh, obviously oh. says Ruth Billingham there. Uh, underneath her name, but that's who uh, who's coming around the corner at you. Who looks just like her icon? Okay. And asking asking you girl that? Yeah, I'm asking yeah. the girl, is there any shops where I can get some food? Uh, she goes, um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and, um, yeah, uh, First National is, is probably the best selection, and uh, Wyatt's across the street uh, is probably has stuff there. And sh she's looking at the side of the van, which um, says, um, uh fucking dr j's elixir and she goes um uh, 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 are you working for those people that daddy works for and who does your daddy work for my, well my daddy works for himself he's self-employed but he has associates um uh, uh with dr j's elixir people oh yeah that's right we work with those we work with that crew uh oh i i are you here are you here to to help brian yeah, sure. How do you know about that? Um, well, um, Brian sort of, he got into a bit of bother and it was sort of my fault. I helped him um, and it's sort of my fault. He was he was helping me um, we, we, uh, and, and he got arrested and um, uh, and she looks over her shoulder and she goes, um, and they probably would have, and him and Nate, Nathaniel got arrested and um, they were probably going to do something really nasty to, to them and um, I pleaded with Daddy to, to save Brian, so he, he said he would. And did, did Dad say where Brian went after he saved him? Um, yeah, Brian, Brian's in, they, they put Brian in the police station. But and Nathaniel. Left Brian and Nathaniel. No, no, he's not there. They, they just, no, no, he's still there. No, they'd only say that so to cover up for him when they goes missing later. I'm sorry, what police station? Um, the, the, the jailhouse across the other side of the river. The Innsmouth police they're station. Only that they're only saying that he's not there when he really is. Oh, I, I don't know what they're... I don't know who's saying that he's not there, but uh, I, I, I saw him there myself today. And she's oh, looking really? over and she goes, she goes, look, she says, I, I need your help. I, I can't, I can't. And with that, one of the two guys from across the road uh, starts heading over towards you and uh, she goes um, she goes I, I, I'll tell you more later uh, meet me uh, at my uh, my daddy's um, shop and she goes uh, I, I, she says I have the keys for I have the keys for here if you want them and she bundles the keys for the Innsmouth First National into your hand Jane and she goes um, meet me meet me when you get when you get away from these uh, uh, meet me around the corner and, and I, I, I'll help you. Oh, uh, Billingham Seafood. Okay. 
So she runs off to the north of the map and she takes off around the oh, corner. Okay. Mm. So you have the keys now to the first national in your hand and um, you can see there's this and older... I them to the FBI agents, the federal agents. What we doing for a break in an entrance? <laughs> so... You, know, you have the keys? Yeah. Yeah, there's the keys. Giving them to you. She Don't she had them. Her. She gave them to you. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I don't know why this is. I'm just gonna slip them into my pocket for the time being while while yeah. these guys yeah. come over to us. Oh, it's just one of them. Yeah. And I don't know why it won't come on. Sorry, there's. Uh... <laughs> so um. So so she's after saying that uh, she got into a bit of bother with uh, Brian. And yeah. that she's saying that Brian is still in the police station, even though the newspaper said he's fled. Yeah. Brian and Nathaniel, the mayor's son from um, uh, Ipswich. The two yeah. Mm. So did it seem like she was saying that she kind of arranged for Brian to be like a arrested rather than instead it seemed like he would have been taken like no, you Nathaniel yeah. was, almost kind of like as punishment or something? Is that is that like... Oh, was she saying that she, like, she arranged for him to stop with yeah, stop. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of a safety oh. thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. She said he yeah. was helped forward with something. Yeah, and he got, and he, and he got the blame or got into trouble yeah. for it, but he was yeah. Yeah. so poor. Yeah, the article says had... that she might have had a female accomplice. Oh, yeah. Oh, it did, yeah. True, yeah. And the... well, yeah, my... he... he said the dad, she, she, got, she pleaded with her dad, essentially, to, to, to help him out. Because wasn't it the thing that um, the Burnham spent a night in jail, but maybe that but the mayor's son didn't, and initially yeah. it read like, oh, because he's the mayor's son, so you know he yeah. didn't have to spend a night in a cell, but the the nobody kid did, did. and then he escaped. Or maybe like maybe it's not the case that it was because of them, you know, because of the mayor's influence, maybe. One of the kids got taken, and this Billingham's influence stopped the the Burnham kid from getting taken. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to. Okay, the incident that you're referring to um, happened uh, several months ago. Yeah. Oh, I sp Oh, yeah. She. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And he's talking about the grocery <laughs> robbery. Yeah. Yeah. But, but then why it, it it makes even less sense than that that the mayor's son from Ipswich would be an insult. In a jail in Innsmouth, in a police station. I mean, that's it that doesn't hold up. We we should we we got we have to go explore that at some point. Yeah. But is that going not... on? We've got a few pieces missing anyway. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's a different incident where he was he was caught up with the mayor's son, isn't it? That was yeah. that was when all together back in Ipswich. Okay, there's two incidences, yeah, that you've yeah. been told about. There's the mayor's yeah. son and Brian Burnham. And that happened several months ago. The girl is referring to uh, Burnham, the mayor's son, oh. and something that's after just happening. And that the mayor's son, Nathaniel, and Burnham are in prison. And she arranged yeah. for uh, something with the, or she begged her father not to, to go softly or to organize something. But you get, you'll get a chance. You, you can meet up with her again. In the, yeah, mean, yeah. In the oh, meantime, oh. I've, uh, there's a guy is heading towards you and he goes, He's, and he's, look, he's looking you up and down, and he's looking at the van. Now, one thing you do notice, he doesn't have, he looks much dapper, as in not the way Ralph said, thought he looked really dapper. This guy looks actually quite clean shaven. He's, uh, his clothes are uh, quite good quality. Um, and unlike, again, Ralph said, they're not like something from 50 years ago. So this guy is, is relatively modern. He's somewhere in his mid late 60s and he's looking you up and down and he's looking at the van and he goes he says uh well met sirs and and lady and he he, ta he taps his uh doffs his cap towards you um and um, he says what brings you to this part of the world on such a good day i'm and he's, he's looking at the shop he said i'm afraid uh, you'll find that unfortunately he, um uh the first national is is temporarily closed um, and why is it closed Ah, uh, well, it seems that uh, allegedly uh, the young man who uh, who runs it, the manager, um, 
uh, was um, was accused of trying to break in to a, an adjacent establishment. Really? Well, what was, yeah. the place? what was the place he tried to break into? And he, he points well, he says, uh, the place there where, um, I was going to call him Tom Waits, where Mr. Waits, uh, whose first name is, um, well, I just call him Mr. Waits, <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's a polite thing but to on. do. Mr. Waits' uh, shop uh, across the way, just over there. Which seems a bit odd, don't you think? When yeah. um, the, the, the the First National is certainly the um, is the most uh, profitable business in this town, that he would have robbed, if he was going to rob anywhere, he would have robbed his own business and not one across the road. What was Mr. Waits' business? I would think. Mm -hmm. And what, what business is Mr. White in? Um, he, he's something quite similar, but not to such a grand scale. He's a, he's a little grocery shop as well. Oh. Mm. It's quite unusual behaviour for a manager to, from one shop to override a lesser shop than his own. Yes, that's what I said. But I, um, I, I, I see you're... Uh, are you delivering some elixir or something? I see by your side of your van you are... Um, you're from Ipswich, is it? I don't think our boss would like to ask him that many questions or us answering them either. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Would well this? Ah. Yes. 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 Tell me. Um. Has Has your boss um sent you to this part of the world to to uh to converse with a with a Mr. Ralsa Marsh by any chance? Well, let's just say we didn't come here of our own volition. <laughs> so. So would How that do you be? Know Ralsa Marsh. Well, I mean, this is a small town, and um, uh, Ralsa Marsh is, is is well known for his activities around this town. Um, Andy, will you roll me um, a spot hidden there, please? Did All you right. ask that question? No. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> it is what. So yeah, you you yeah, that's what he says to you. So yes, um, yes, Mister Marsh. Mm -hmm. Quite the character is this, uh, Mister Marsh, is he? Yes, he would be. Okay, give me a spot hidden there, please, Ben. Will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh yeah. Go on. Go on. Go on. And as he says Ooh. that, you you discern uh, he. It, it looks when he said when he said yes, quite the character. You for a moment you got a feeling there of pure hatred from this guy's um, uh, his inflection of his eyes, the way he twitched his left eyebrow. That he really is not a fan of Ralsemarsh, and actually he probably wants to tell you more, but he's a bit yeah. cagey because he doesn't know who you people are. Uh, I. I'll I'll say he'll uh, it's he's not a good liar he'll use his real name he said oh. um uh, uh, Mr uh, O'Radigan uh, as my name will hold out his hand he said I'm afraid I'm very uh, rude of us I I never asked your name he says, so he says oh he says um uh, Quinton Avril is my name sir well met oh yeah we've uh, I, I, uh, the name uh, sounds familiar I'm uh, from Arkham myself but I hear good good people. You know, he said, some he's, people in town aren't so good, and you know, some uh, there's good families and bad families. You know, I, I I can tell from your your accent, you you you're a bit of an educated man. Would I be right in saying that? Well, in certain subjects. <laughs> well, he says, um, listen, um, I I think there's something we may be able to converse more on. Um, how say you? I, I have some small um tasks to take care of around town. Um, but how, how shall we say that if, if you're fixed, if you're still in town now, and I wouldn't suggest to stay in this place after dark, but if you're still in town for uh, lunchtime, um, that you, you call by my uh, house and we'll have some, we'll have some crumpet and tea and we can have a, we can have a chat and it might be might, quite beneficial to you. I might be able to propose a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, work for you people, if you're of, of such a mind. Oh, How I, say I, you? I, I'm a hard worker and I'm a man who likes uh, his knowledge, so any opportunity to learn? On... Well, I, I live at 903 Pierce Street, if you want to drop by later, in an hour or two's time. 
Oh, very well. And, and as he says that, he, he, he tips his hat and he says, um, good day to you, and uh, hopefully we shall meet again. And he wanders off. All right, so Ralph knocked up this guy's sister, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. That's the guy that uh, Ralso wants you to kill, and that's the guy who has seemingly got this uh, spell book. Yeah. And um, uh, so, meanwhile, Wyatt is standing still over at the shop there, yeah. and uh, he's looking at you, at you guys. Oh, sorry, Avril, he, uh, Wyatt, he the guy. He didn't look like yeah. a fish, did he? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, and I it's to good say it initially, but I forgot. Yeah, no, Avril did not have the ins and out look that a lot of them have. He looked like a regular guy. Okay. He's got other dark powers. I can't wait until I can find the attic. Yeah, I that note as well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you did have a note, you're right. That why I forgot about that. Why it is. Um, is confined to the attic. Like so like many so others, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that was right, yeah. You did that find that note. Was that in the notebook? On the yeah, so, well, there's a Wyatt down the bottom of the street uh, if you want to ask him why he's not in the attic. I'm saying, oh, Jack, why is he going in the attic at the moment? I got him down oh. saying he wants to be in the attic now. Yeah. Well, well, we might have to go down there anyway because that's uh, another grocer, so... Hopefully there's something edible in there. Oh, yeah. Well, you can start making the pig's leg or something. <laughs> we have the keys for this book, don't we? Sorry? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We have the keys for the First National Bank. Oh, yeah. You do, yeah. So... Yeah, that's true. We can always go rob some. Oh, yeah. So we can just go in there and leave some cash on the counter because yeah. we're honourable, non steely type yeah. people. <laughs> I suppose good good excuse at least to go chat up this, this way for Wyatt, fella. Yeah, and ask him why you hurt the attic. <laughs> like, we, were, we, were, we were on form key was straight and finding. Who's doing the talking? So, are you? Um, what do we ask him, like, apart from the attic thing? What do we want to know? <laughs> Especially about the, the, the burglary, what he knows about it. Oh, what yeah. would they look for? Yeah. Why would they steal your modest business without something the man? Yeah, we'll buy something first and then. And just you know. ask about the robbery, the recent robbery. Or yeah. Burglary. yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I'll look over my shoulder, kind of at the First National, and then back to him. I'll say, So, are you. Uh, are you open? Um, uh, yes, yes, we're uh, always open for business. If I can figure out how to get the roof off in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember how to do this. It's been so long I mean... since I made this map. Um, mm. <laughs> this, is this one here. Ah, yeah, there we go. So he says, yes, yes, come in and see my fine wares. <laughs> oh, shit. Be my vest. <laughs> so he goes into the shop. Oh, sorry, I have to go. Where's the. Uh, where's the door? I can, um... The big gap in the wall is the door. No, I can't drag him in. It's hitting a. It's, it's... You have to go near and then. Wall. Oh, yeah. It's not getting in there, Phil, yeah. Okay. So so you know like what? I'll drag you in. Maybe, I, maybe that there's actually a virtual wall there. Just stop you running through it. Uh, <laughs> you're all in there. Right, everyone's in the shop now. So you can see the stuff looks of relatively okay quality. It's not rank, but the shop is very sort of derelict and it's very, you know, uh, it's clean, but it's not very high end stuff. It's like, I don't know, somewhere that you would. Yeah. You'd buy stuff, and it's all just very basic stuff, you know. There's there isn't a great selection. Mm -hmm. Um, so he says, um, shop no labels. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So is, is there so anything you know ready to eat? Dry, you uh, know, there's loaves of bread, or there's or loaves of bread, bread, and yeah, there's that sort of beef jerky stuff. Um, just, yeah, and anything that could be eaten immediately, like yeah, there is, yeah. yeah. 
I am. Stop. Stop picking up a few bits. So he says, we seldom get more than one or two people in the town of a day from outside, let alone one, two, three, four, five, six of you. It's very... What brings you to um, our humble place? Uh, Innsmouth is a lot of history and we're, uh, you know, we're history buffs, you know, we always like to uh, well, be interested let... in local history, you know. I would suggest that you stop asking questions about Innsmouth. Uh, if that's your business here, it's going to end up very badly for you. This is a town where people don't like to answer questions about their history. Let me give you that bit of advice for free. I can see why tourism is down. What <laughs> <laughs> about their history? <laughs> oh, what about uh, what about questions about illegal activities like robberies? Ah, he says. Yeah. Ah, are, are, are you reporters or something? Are you here to have? I've, I've, I I I sent those other reporters packing the other day, and I'm not going to boil my cabbage twice, my good man. Well, my good man, I am an Ipswich police detective, so um, I can and I will ask whatever questions I see fit. Well, I suggest uh, if that's the case, then you go off to Constable Rhodes and have a chat with him, uh, because uh, I, I have discussed everything with uh, the, the local police. Well, I'm not the local police. Exactly. But, uh, You're not the local police, uh, so you have no jurisdiction here, my good man. Don't give me that yours, my dicks and crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure the feds do. How about that? <laughs> yeah. well, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> okay. Did, well, perhaps the day... The, 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 if the federal bureau uh, or the bureau does arrive down here, it'll be for something a bit more than trying to break into my back room. Um, I, and I, with that, you, you've taken out your badge. Okay. Yeah. When he sees the the bureau badge, he goes uh, he goes white. And he says, uh, uh, he says, uh, what, what what is the bureau's interest in um in, in such a as, a as someone trying to break into my safe? I'll ask the question too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bureau is interested in your back room. <laughs> <laughs> now get in our van. <laughs> the talking pig. <laughs> well, sorry, was your name David Cameron? Is that what I heard? Well, I mean, we could play the angle, but you know, the mayor's. It's, 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 it's fellas involved with the, the son of a important figure. <laughs> So yeah, he's looking white. Whitest is looking white uh, with your mention of the FBI. And why don't you just tell him all you know, and uh, and this can be over soon. Um, as I told him, please. Um, um, I I, I was I was uh, heading home, and I'd come back down. I'd forgot something in the shop, and I came back down, and I, I could hear as I approached. I could hear. Uh, noise. Uh, so I, I was I was very cautious when I came in, and um, I discovered um, uh, the young uh, man who runs the First National, Brian Burnham, and um, uh, his lady friend Ruth um, uh, were in the back room trying to uh, open the safe uh, in my in my back room and the crowbar and. When I approached them, they must have had a third member of their crew was must have been outside in a vehicle to to escape in, and he came rushing in after uh, me. And I happened to have a a firearm, uh, my shotgun, to uh, keep down the rats. Um, and um, I I produced it, and uh, I I told him to get away from the safe, and. Um, uh, with the commotion, and then shortly after, Constable Rhodes uh, arrived and uh, escorted them away, and and that's really it. Uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, Did I've you nothing. Saw all three of them away. Yes, 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 yes. But later, uh, I know the young uh, Root girl was her father 
obviously was able to get her out of um, uh, of the cells uh, and she she's been hanging around the shop uh, I noticed her talking to you earlier when I was when I was talking to uh, Mr. Avril what were they what were they looking for in the safe um uh, okay uh, do roll me a spot hidden there please Donica Sorry, now I have to press this thing, is it? Actually, sorry, not spot hidden. Uh, roll, roll psychology. Psychology. Uh, roll, is it? <coughs> not a fucking hope. So he goes, um, so he goes, uh, yes, I presume they were, they thought there was valuables in the safe, but like, there's nothing valuable you can see. And he, he, lo he puts his hands up and he, he, he looks and he says, look at, you know, obviously the most valuable I think I have there is that block of cheese. And well, then why were they, they trying to rob you if it's obvious it's not to steal? I, exactly, exactly. That's perhaps a question for them, my good lady. Can I roll a psychology check? You can indeed roll a psychology. Did that roll? Oh, I didn't see anything. Mm, no, 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 uh, we're a psychology. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're 70. Oh. Oh. Okay. Did that roll? No. 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 Weird. Ah, it's the word you press, not the uh, not the number. Yeah, I was pressing Okay. The okay, there you go. Roll. It's coming up now. Roll. Okay. 27, I got. Okay, he's obviously completely lying to you. You know, spotted straight away, without a shadow of doubt, he's lying through his teeth. He but I thought think. he was very honest. You did, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you just think everybody's lying to you because you're a fed. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that just doesn't sound right to me. In fact, that sounds like a lie. <clears throat> So yeah. they're like pointing at the door here. So is this the room where you caught them? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You um, you go in. You 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 go in if you want to. Yeah, I think it will. Room. All right. So I go out and I say, "Are you sure there's something you don't want to be telling that federal agent before he finds out for himself?" Uh, what did you get? You got uh, you got two. You got a hard success. He goes um. He says, what they were messing with, they shouldn't have been messing with. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. And he says, I, I'm sorry, I, I must go. My wife is very, very ill. I, I, I have to go. I have to go. She needs me at home. And he makes a beeline for the door. <laughs> so, we're more than the so we have two shops now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gone. He's, he, he's, he's done a runner. Now, you, you notice, obviously, you can see there's um, in, your, in the map there, there's a big fuck off safe. Uh, in there, there's a bench and some other stuff. Mm. The safe is really high end quality safe. It's completely probably out of, it's completely out of point with the shop. I take it completely. The safe is probably worth more than the shop. Okay. Yeah. I just uh, I mean, around Phil while while people are going to be looking at the safe. I'm just yeah. having a walk around the shop, looking for his shotgun and looking for signs of rats or infestation or anything like that. Just basically to kind of take. I think he stores bollocks. Um, I just want to be brief. Okay, roll me a spot hidden, though. So please, Dunica. Uh, Could I try to run after him? Uh, you you can. Uh, now you don't know it's anything untoward. You you can you can you can run after him. Yeah. You definitely didn't see any rat stuff. I don't know that. Okay, well, well, I will. Where'd he go? <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. You can see him. He getting into a car right. so uh, when I you go outside out. i'll let you out i'll let you out <laughs> so just to spank you 
as as you uh, as you come around the corner, you can see him hopping into his car and driving off. Oh shit! I'm just in the other room gathering food for the children and the pig. Yeah, I was gonna say um, Owen has just kind of popped out the door with well before. And he slapped a couple bucks down on the counter just so yeah, that's no what, one yeah. can claim we robbed the shop or anything. Yeah, and then and he, he, he just brings, yeah, he'll right, deliver. Can I get back in then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, he said the kids just to hold tight and, you know, there's you're, food. You're back in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I and just it, try the handle of the safe? Just, I'll, yeah. just, I'll, just in case. <laughs> you, you can try the handle and it's yeah. locked. You can try, if yeah. you want to try a lock-picking uh, role, you can. I can, but like, I think it's impossible <laughs> for me to get it right. Somebody was all right at that. One. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was, had like, had more than one, I think, did they? More than what? I think it's Robert, yeah. I think... One in locksmith. Somebody had a couple of points, I think. I, think I, it's made, uh, I made a successful one, I think. Yeah, I did. Yeah, some, somebody was doing them on, on doors or something. Yeah, I, I, I think I did it on the car. So yeah, I know that, any, I know anyone can try it, obviously, but like, what's that thing just in front of Edmund? Is it a bench? It's just a bench, yeah. It's just a bit of yeah. I just have a look underneath the bench, just okay. Exactly. Roll me a spot hidden, please. You're, you're looking for the safe number. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like an escape room. <laughs> yeah, idiot. The answer to this guy's safe is safe one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a sort of post it note on the same. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah, yeah. You don't need me to tell you no. <laughs> so you see the ground. Um, and, and just ha having a look at the safe, are there signs that somebody tried to force that are open? Yeah, um, there is. You can see around the hinges and over where the lock is, there's huge scrape marks. And where okay. somebody's trying to gouge it, you know. Is, is it just a combination safe, Phil, or is it a key? No, and... it's um, it's a key and a dial. Yeah. Okay, we have a route around for the key, maybe. Yeah, yeah right I look under the counter over where I am in the shop looking for a key. Uh, yeah. Okay, you you, you you're you're not going to find a key in the shop. Okay. He's not going to keep the key in the shop. If anything, it's on them. Don't look very smart, these people, so. <laughs> yeah. This little, this little girl handed us a big bunch of keys just now. Um, yeah. After I, mean, I looked at them. Just, yeah. could we try those just to check? Could yeah. anything happen from that? Lock. Okay, so the type of keys that Ruth handed you, and she actually uh, is, uh, is, is, is a normal sort of, don't have any keys there but they're like the type of keys you'd find uh on a was it called a mortise lock okay <laughs> yeah a door key they're fairly basic whereas you can see the one for the safe was a quite a would be quite a specific unusual looking key yeah, yeah, okay. the ones you have in your okay. key ring you can tell they're just for normal regular doors okay. uh, and she said they were the keys for the first national okay they were in here trying to get something out of this safe Something that they shouldn't yeah. have been. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything in here that's written in Latin because Owen could do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got this skill. He spent all these years learning Latin and he hasn't got a chance to use it yet. No, I mean the room the room is fairly here. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah, did you no the the room is fairly basic. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is nothing much in there. Okay. Uh the first national so and see if there's anything in the back room that might kind of i suppose give us a bit of a hint as to what we were looking for in here or we do have the keys that we can root around in there as well mm. yeah. listen here's the problem um now he this this guy knows that we're on to him so if we all leave this place at any point then he will come back and he will remove any evidence so Burn it. At least, <laughs> I, I, I don't think that's uh, <laughs> that's that's justifiable. Mm. But at least one of us, and I would suggest more, uh, would have to stay around. But we can go from the first half. No. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say, Jenica? We can do a bit of a stakeout from the the first national across the way, can't we? Oh yeah, go think about that. Plenty of plenty of munchies in there as well. Uh, well, yeah. I suppose if he thinks we're gone, maybe he'll big block of cheese here. 
Maybe we can have two lawmen again, yeah, steak out. We'll go have lunch. And you can, you can stay in the, the grocery. Should, should we go and meet Ruth and ask her, you know, get her from home? What were they looking for? Well, in about an sure. hour, we got to meet your man, Avril. Sure, and, and, and that not. girl also, uh, Ruth. Yeah, Is, do we want to keep that fancy looking sorcerer waiting? Yeah, we can go around to Ruth's dance shop. Mm -hmm. What's that called? Bellingham Seafood. Seafood? Oh, Bellingham yeah. Seafood, yeah. Will I move us out of this shop onto the street? Yeah. yeah. For the time being, I suppose, yeah. You can always move us back in. We've got a and we robbed the safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that all of his now? Are you all out of the shop? No. Actually, yeah, for some reason or another. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah. The few of us were in there. I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah, not I have sure you now. About leaving the... All right, okay. I can move you back in if you want to. I'll stand you by the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Uh, sorry, I can't, for some reason or another, I can't. Yeah, I, I do think it is right. a good idea, to, at least for the time being. Like, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep an eye on the shop. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll, uh, you know. At the very least, even if we even if we did it from the window of the first national, initially, just to... yeah. I'll I'll stay put. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. I got he he probably won't come back in the next. Not he probably won't come back from. Well, maybe not till after dark. But well, maybe a couple of hours. Uh, don't we know. don't know that. We don't know that. We don't it, know that it, he it, could. It... Yeah. I mean, it seems pretty um, seems pretty important. I'm not sure we can take that risk. And remember, we don't want to get stuck in those <coughs> marshlands driving back to at night time. Do you remember we said they looked dodgy and we didn't want to get a flat tire around, around there at night time driving mm -hmm. home? So we want to go of home course. daylight. Which oh, means so, I'm 100% going to get a flat tire. Yeah, we're <laughs> 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 driving in, it was just marsh either side. We were just rolling. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah this, is, this is where you get chased by fish people. Yeah. Look yeah. um, at fish people trying to stingers in front of the I have, been, I have been reading up the rules on chases in uh, Cthulhu, by the way. It is a much better chase mechanism than D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually thinking I'm probably going to bring it into the D&D &D games. It's actually, it's yeah, they, 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 have you read up the Cthulhu chase rules? You're, uh, you're... No, no, I only I watched the video that the stuff that Donica sent. Oh yeah, your man said he he's yeah it, it's he's yeah he's very good. He's very good. They're much better than D and D. Yeah. Okay, so um, you're right. You're you're starting to uh, fragment, which is fine. I'm just kind of. So who's staying in uh, in in Force National? National. Mm. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, I don't mind staking out the theater shop, and I have the keys for the First National as well. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, Owen's gonna go with the First National search party anyway. Have a route around. Andy, do you want to leave? There's better food in there. Cause there, or are you staying here? I'm, uh, I'm staying put, making, making sure nobody comes back. And making sure do, no one goes for the uh, cheese. They don't, they don't touch the fridge and the cheese. Yeah. 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 Valuable uh, cheese, yeah. Um, are we going into the first national? Yeah, we'll just yeah. have a quick shoot around there. Jane, the cheese. Give the cheese back. Oh, Jane, no. she was she was chatting to Jane. I don't know if she gave him to yeah. My door is locked. Reopen it. You have the keys. You have to open it now if you have the keys. Yeah. yeah, I have the keys. Don't I? Yeah. Unlock. So, uh, you, you've tried all the keys and you actually, uh, none of the keys seem to open the door. Okay. Is there a, is there a back? Back door or side door, maybe? There are oh, other doors, um, and, and um, you go through the motions of those doors. I'm not going to give you the make you go through every around every single door and we wait five minutes. Yeah. But the keys seem to be she may she seems to have given you maybe perhaps the wrong keys to our other shop. Yeah, <laughs> our yeah. keys are something extra that we we she wants us to have. 
So we need to go and talk to him. Just going to look through the keys, Phil, and just see is there anything that kind of stands out or is there any kind of notes or anything scratched in them or anything like okay, that. Give me a spot hidden. That's sick. Someone, does someone want to have a look at these keys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything about them. Yeah, definitely not. We need to talk to Ruth. She'll know what the keys are for and okay. where they're for. Okay. So, um, right. Uh, is that what you're doing? Are some of you just heading off the routes? Yeah. To shop around I think we need to talk to Ruth to tell us what the keys are for and what they were looking for in the safe that night. And Andy, you're staying in the um, in the other shop. I'm just going to throw your yeah. characters on to hear those a few so you walk around the corner. If you, if you want the keys to my car, and if you want to just sit in the car outside of it. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm in, I'm, I'm in a grocery store. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it could be worse. Oh, sorry. Actually, yeah. Archibald. I actually have Archibald there. Um, who's there? Sorry. Who have I got? I've got uh, Janet. <coughs> Robert. <coughs> Um, so the rest of you are there. Actually, I'm going to put your character, but I'm going to hide you, uh, Andy, so you can actually see, even though, because otherwise yeah, you're yeah. just going, otherwise you're just going to be, <laughs> you're, you're going to be not wondering. So you come around the corner and um, you can actually see there's there's a sign, uh, Bellingham Seafood, um, uh, hanging up and you can see Root outside the door. The other side of the road, um, there's a you can see the the, the village graveyard, um, and you're that's where you are. Sorry, I just get up my stuff. See notes. So Ruth is there, and she goes, she goes. What kept you so long? She goes. I I must have given you the wrong keys, and uh, she um she goes. Uh, who has the keys? John again. Yeah. yeah. So she goes, um she goes and she she gives she takes the keys off your hand and she goes now she says, um um first of all I want to know what you're going to do with Brian. Well why don't you tell us the whole story, Ruth, and then we'll see how we can help. So Okay, run, run me a, are you got give me a persuasion or and you can do persuasion or intimidation, whichever you would like you think would work better. Or you could do fast talk. Trying to see who's there. I'm quite good at this. I think I'm good at persuading. So yeah, okay. I'll kind of throw my badge and say, "Ruth, we're here to help." I think you should just tell us the full story, and I'll try and roll. And for folks, yeah. <laughs> so she goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Like, 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 like you care, like you care about me at all. Owen starts speaking in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, listen, listen, Ruth. Just, just try to try to relax and calm down. You know, just tell me the story. Yes. Yeah. She goes. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Come on, but let. I don't want to talk out here. Um, I don't want to talk out here. So, uh, oh, she. One of it opens the door, or. Uh, she opens the door. She goes, come on, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go into Daddy's shop. <coughs> okay, d just because it looks like there's a revolver on the table there, that's just the feckin' table graphic that I had, so. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, yeah, fair yeah. enough. So Ruth grabs the revolver. And she... <laughs> so she yeah. goes, um... She says, um, we thought there was going to be money in the safe, um, so um, we decided to break in and, and steal the money. And, and they have, what did, you did the size of that safe, did, what made you think you could open that safe? Well, and Nathaniel um, uh, said that Brian is very good with his hands. And is this Nathaniel Hamilton? Yes, 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 yeah, Brian's friend. He was going to help us. He was going to drive us out of town because Nathaniel doesn't have a car. Oh, 
neither do I. Or Brian, or neither, Brian or myself yeah. don't have a car. Not exactly the most successful shop in town. Why do you think there'd be that much money in the safe? Um, because um, uh, Daddy said there would be. Did he say there'd be anything else in the safe? No. Are you lying? <laughs> no. Did your father know that you brought to break in? There's other ways to ascertain whether she's lying as opposed to asking her is she lying. So I'm, I'm good at persuading people. Are you lying? Yeah. <laughs> Psycho, uh, psychology. There's money. Fuck's it. Well, well, that there was money in there or gold. Uh, someone, Becky rolled a, has a 70 in persuade, or yeah. psychology. I have a, I have a 60 in persuade. Sorry? What did you want the money for, Ruth? Oh, we wanted the money because uh, we wanted to get out of this awful, awful town. And where were you going to go? Um, Arkham at first, and then maybe New York. Oh, okay. And why do you think the town is so awful? Because it's... Have you seen the state of the place? There's someone like me shouldn't be have to stay like somewhere like here. Yeah, but your dad is a successful shop owner. Well, yeah, but still, that doesn't mean. I, I, but, then, but then he can use some of his wealth to to set me up, um, up in Arkham. I, I shouldn't and have to stay around here. Go. Sorry, what? Well, he's going to go away. Together. Yes. Yes. <laughs> how, how did Brian? How did he meet Nathaniel? Uh, they, they were schoolboy. They were friends from a long time before. I don't know how they originally met, but they've been friends a very long time. We went Brian's to school together. Okay. No, no, no. Like no Brian's from... Oh, yeah. Brian's from Ipswich. Uh, yeah. And are you and Brian um, courting, as they say these days, the young people? Um, y yes, we, we, we have, um, yes, we are. Door. <laughs> Door. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to click on that roll, Becky, anytime you want. Right yeah, well, you find out what she oh, wants yeah. her, find out what she's lying about. Yeah. There, I, I did click, I clicked on the roll. And it says, there I go again. And okay. it says, lack permission to update. Okay, L let me just, let me, okay, let me just check something here. Your permissions on Janet. Uh, I think I know what this might be. Oh, yeah, bad, the only woman. Well, this is your owner. Is it? Wow. <laughs> lack permission. It's of the age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, it yeah. shouldn't be. I mean, it says... It's suffrage in America. It? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, you, do you I, want me to roll it now, is it? 20... Yeah, roll it. 1990, okay. I think they got the vote in America. Women. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, she's telling the We're truth that she's in a relationship with Brian. Was she lying about anything else? Oh, well, see, you didn't, you didn't do the psychology then. I did ask you to roll it, but you didn't. <laughs> It's so okay. Though. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, well, you didn't yeah. have permission at the time. Innsmouth is was slow on the uptake. You know, okay. The she time. was lying about the whole business of thinking there was money in the safe. Yes. Oh, there's a surprise. That's a complete lie. Mm. The bit that Dunnigan mm. asked where you're lying, and she said, "No, I'm not." A complete lie. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. someone. There's yeah. There's something else in the safe that she wants or knows, oh. and she knows about it. Okay. So I'm gonna have to put the L screws on it. Hold it down, we punch her. Yeah, like, never oh. <laughs> Bring out the pig. The, pig. the pig's asleep. Well, wake him up. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jesus. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, if you don't have any more questions for me, I, I think I'll be popping along. No, you can just hold on there for a sec. And uh, Ed Edmund's going to step in front of her and start swinging his uh, grandfather's watch. Oh, no, you're going to try hypnotism oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a watch. Christ. Okay, again. <laughs> for a moment, Ruth. Okay, uh, I have to, yeah, yeah, and I have to see how I resist this again. I think it's 
fuck's sake. <laughs> Strength. It's an opposed role anyway. Uh, hypnotism. Hips in front of her and starts swinging his. <laughs> Could have gone a lot worse, Mark. <laughs> 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 Mark, Mark, Mark. <laughs> don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Okay. Really, she's probably going to slap me. She goes, get, get that out of my face. Get that out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody grab her by the scruff of the neck and drag her back and shout in her face. We know you're lying. You better tell us what's going on. Are you going to back of the van with the pig? He's gonna. <laughs> Hang on now. I don't think it's gonna. It's not gonna really work. But he's saying, look. I mean, you know, come on. This is, you know, this this isn't. We're not playing kid games here. You know, you wanna. You say you wanna your own life. You want to uh, be out there in the world or on your start acting like an adult you know this is could be life and death you know you want brian or nathaniel you to go down for something or or, or worse okay we're trying to help you here <coughs> uh good speech give me a persuasion check there see that it okay, works. It's, not gonna, it's not gonna go well but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see uh Oh. Oh, I'll tell you what, you can you can roll you since it was a good story, you can roll that a, a bonus, so roll another um you can roll it again. Yeah. I know you won't be able to roll the second one. So we take the tree yeah. Uh, uh, Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Phil, okay, with with this just with with um uh, just to double check with Cthulhu, it's not it's not meet it or beat it. You you'd have to get nineteen or yeah, lower. Yeah, yeah. I, twenty wouldn't do it. So yeah, well you got twenty three was your so if you take it was a thirteen. I'm wondering if I. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh. Yes, you could spend. Yeah, meet it or beat it. So you could spend. You could. Ten percent of you my could, luck, but. Tw no, twenty three. You could spend three luck points. Sorry, I forgot all about that. So there's two things no, you can. I'm saying that that'd get me that get me to twenty, which is my score. But what I need. No, no, that's it. Nineteen. No, no, you can you can twenty. We'll, we'll take we'll, we'll take oh, the easier score yeah. or less. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 It's okay, the easiest way to remember. Points. So, uh, so you can spend three luck points, or you can push it. If you push it, you get to re-roll. But if if you if you fail the pushed I, one, no. It's, I, um, yeah. 23 is with the 20, 23 is probably okay. as close as I'm likely to get. Okay, so you're going to spend the luck points. So just deduct yourself three luck points. And yep. uh, okay, she, so that becomes a success. And she starts crying. She breaks down and she goes, I am, and obviously her words meant a lot to her. And she goes, I just wanted to get out of this place. And, and I, it was uh, Dr. Rhodes. Um, promised me loads of money now and uh ben you that's a name that should mean something to you yeah it is it's uh he's uh dr rose is also giving the keynote speak next week when you're doing your uh lecture on fish yeah. follies and <laughs> fornication or whatever your <laughs> talk in our communities yeah. on. He'll, he'll say he's like Doctor. He goes, what? Yeah. You know, Doctor Doctor Rhodes. Um. Okay, she goes. Yes. Um, yeah, he, he, he was in contact and he came down and visited one day and I got to talking to him and, and um, he said he was looking for um, for something that um, Mr. Wyatt had and he said if I could get it, if I could buy it from Mr. Wyatt or get it some by some means or other that he, he would uh, pay me very well and I'd have enough to, money to get set up on my own in Arkham and then New York. Did he say what it was you were to get, get from uh, Mr. White? Yeah, he, he said he had a very, very old book that was worth a lot of money in the safe and that I wasn't to tell anyone what it was, but um, uh, and uh, just to, to take it and um, uh, if I could get it. Um, um, and I don't think he was too worried on, on how I'd get it. And um, I, I said I would, and he said it would be worth a lot, a lot of money. I didn't mean for 
any of this to happen. Well, he said, look, I, I... Did you ask Mr. White uh, if you would sell it before you tried to uh, steal it? Yes, yes, we did. We said that um, somebody was looking to buy the book and, and Mr. White got very angry and and he said get out of the shop and and never to come back and not to mention to anyone about the book and he wanted to know how i knew about the book and he got very angry and he started shouting at me and i had to run home and then daddy was all upset and did dr rhodes did he mention a mr avril um mr avril and uh, mr avril who lives up in um in the, uh, on the nice side of the town yeah no why would he have Listen, I, I, I know, you know, kid, it's not, I can't promise you a whole lot of money, but if you... Okay, so we'll go around the get, back. If, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to come to Ark, if you want to come to Arkham or when all this is over, you know, maybe you get yourself a job. I, I know I'm a professor up at Miskatonic and, you know, I deal with the... the I know people, you know, at the, 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 the housing office, so maybe we, I can help you out w once you get there. My, my name's Professor O'Reilly. She goes, oh, that'd be I know people in the city. She said, oh, that'd be very nice of you. And, and what would Miss, uh, Mrs. Uh, Rajagan think? <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I don't have a room to s spare myself, but, you know, uh, there's no Mrs. Aradigan. Uh, oh, oh, is there not? There's no, oh, right. And with that, she sort of starts sidling up towards you. Oh God! <laughs> she says, I, "I I do anything to get out of this town." And uh, a, a, a professor, a professor like you, must earn a lot of money in the university. Is that right? But you must be so. very wealthy. Uh, no, so, um, no, I'm. I was shopping at at, at Waits. Is a you know a wealthy man doesn't shop there. Well, you know, as Daddy says, um, a fool and his money is soon parted, and and somebody who keeps on to their money usually means they have a lot of it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, um, let's get back to the matter at hand. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Detective uh, <laughs> officer. <laughs> You, you said you saw Brian in the police station this morning. That's right, so why yeah. Why was he in the police station this morning? Why was he in the police station? He was in the police station because he tried to break why into the station. Why were you in the police station this I, I wasn't in the police station. If, if you go around the back of the police station, um, you, you there's windows into the cells and you can see in. So could you speak to Brian when you were there from the back of the police station? Um, I, I, I did, I did. What, what did he have to say? Well... He seemed a bit confused because he said um, that uh, Nathaniel had been released. Yeah. But Nathaniel's car is still there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did he did he mention trying to escape in any way? No, he he was actually quite relaxed in the police station. He said he'd be out of there soon enough, and he that they couldn't really, they 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 wouldn't be able to do anything to him because um. If they did, they'd have to prosecute me and Nathaniel, and Nathaniel's daddy wouldn't wouldn't stand for that, um, and my daddy wouldn't stand for it. So they'd have to let. They wouldn't be able to let keep Nathaniel and me in prison. So they'd have to let Brian go. That's what he thinks, and that's why he thinks that Nathaniel. But but Nathaniel's car is still there, so I I don't know where Nathaniel is. Mm. Do we still have that newspaper? Does anyone hold on to the newspaper talking about Brian Bourne and fleeing Innsbruck? Well, uh, unless you made a conscious action to, to, to dump it, yeah, I presume you still do. Whether you have it on you or not, I don't know. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, Ray, roll, roll me a look test and to see if you, you actually have the newspaper still on you or if it's back in the van. Where do I find look? Uh, look is on the. It's not it's down. The, it's on the top it's of your. Just sheet above it? the hit points there, which is just the, the tentacle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
No, you actually, you you remember you left it in the van because uh, in case the pig shat on the floor, uh, you put it on the, the ground. So it's back in the van. Okay. Okay. She goes, I, Daddy's going to be expecting me for my lunch. I, I have to go. Mm. So, and she goes, um, and uh, uh, Professor O'Rattigan, um, and you, Miss Katara, yeah. I, I, um, uh, I, I'll see you so in, 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 in Arkham. I guess. And, <laughs> <laughs> and she heads out there. She has a bit of an old skip in her step as she heads out. Thoughts of Brian, uh, suit of God. Uh, so yeah, she's she heads uh, just off. Just a quick reminder for the for the folks at home that um, that uh, Brian's or oh, Brian that um, Doctor Owen Orangutan Oratigan's <laughs> appearance stat is fifteen. So I couldn't. I don't think it could be any lower. Actually, by Jane <laughs> official Call of Cthulhu rules. It isn't Saint Jane is fairly Saint Jane is fairly ugly as well. Or something, isn't it? Oh, she's, I'm yeah, well, I'm sorry. It's your you you create. Yeah, she's twenty. Yeah, she's fairly rough as well. But you are actually worse. Brendan Gleeson's a handsome yeah. man. <laughs> but he's only yeah. handsome because he's famous. Um, I don't know which actually. Yeah. Which one in of you is the prettiest? Rock, if in the words of Chris Rock. If Mick Jagger was a cab driver, he'd be the ugliest motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Archibald is 50. Uh, so he's a 5 out of wow, 10. 28, uh, Derek is 55. Edmund. You're all fairly. You all got hit, fairly hit with the fucking ugly stick, didn't you? Oh, um, Robert is six. He's, Robert is the prettiest of you. Robert is a 6 out of 10. <laughs> Oh yeah, sexy yeah. antique dealer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a it's a bodice ripper <laughs> romance novel. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> fucking a dad bod knit Drake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the twenties. I mean, sex appeal wasn't invented back then. Yeah, true. true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, she's gone out the door anyway. Well, I think do we have a lunch a lunch date of our own? Do you want to have a have a nose while you're here or anything? Oh, yeah, can I have a look on? Yeah, if I, she's if I, 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 I was yeah, uh, she's okay. Where where in particular are you are you wanting to look? Um, this um chest that looks at. Oh, chest. Chest. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There is. Um, okay, so so everything's going to happen is, and where are the rest of you looking? So I'll just hold you there for a second, uh, I was, Robert. Well, I was thinking I'll, I might take a peek in the desk. If okay, so, right, yeah, you, you were at the desk and... Okay, so I'll come back to it, Ben, but you, right on top of the desk, mm -hmm. is a ledger. Okay? And okay. Uh, so that's what you were looking at, and it seems to be a shipping manifest. Sure. Uh, we'll yeah. come back to that, though. When... Um, Robert opens the uh, cupboard door. Uh, you suddenly, this, this thing. Sorry, I'm trying. Right. I don't like the sound of thing. This thing, yeah. What's the thing? Sorry, I made a bowl. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, it sounds like. Uh, this giant. Uh, well, and that's bad in <laughs> This giant lobster type of thing. Um, uh, jumps out of the cupboard, and as it jumps out, uh, a load more of them uh, start appearing from out of the rafters and out of the wall, uh, and that. So, um, uh, for some reason or other, uh, do you know what? Your hero, and she's got crabs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, if you want to uh, roll your initiatives, please, and I'll roll the NPCs. So, on the combat tracker, remember the easiest way is to right click on it so you can see the dice rolls at the same time and click on the dice beside your name. 
So if you no, right click on the fist, it brings pops down to a separate window. So you can still see the. Uh, yeah. Sorry for that again, is it just... Um, initiative? Sorry. The dice on, on the combat... No, on the combat tracker. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there's a dice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if you, want to, if you want to pop out the chat log and have the two of them, if you right-click on the chat log or the fist, it'll, keep, it'll open up two windows. I don't... Um, hmm. You're not in oh, combat. Yeah. You're in the other room. Oh, I'm not technically in it. You're not in combat yet. Sorry? You're looking at the ledger. Yeah. So you're looking oh, at the ledger. No, I assumed I had to yeah. roll. No, no, you don't. You're actually in combat here. So you're, you're actually out of combat. You don't even know this. You're, you're looking through the ledger. And what I'll do is I'll actually going to... Uh, I'm going to pop out the ledger there to you because I'll only get ex excited and forget about it. Um, so, um, <laughs> so this is the ledger that you see. Uh, I'll share that with you now. Now, it'll be all squished. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there's Warren Billingham's picture, so you'll need to drag it out uh, there. So this is the shipping ledger that you see. Um, you can peruse that there. And what I'll do is, I can't remember how to do this, but I will add that to your... I can't remember how I do that again. There was a way of making use that available for you, which I'll do later, okay? Um... I've forgotten how to do it. Uh, okay, so we'll start the combat there anyway. And up first there is um, is you Archibald. So um, uh, oh, no, sorry, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'm the wrong one. Sorry, it's not. It's one of these fishy things. So uh, one of these fishy things runs over and clamps itself, bites onto uh, Janet, um, and. It clamps into you and you take one damage. So, uh, the medical box that we use in uh, D and D should be available to you as well. So on. Un... No, that's only for Edmund and Erwin. Is it okay? Do you want me to do it so for you? Yeah, you have to do me. Philip. Okay, so over. so for the rest of us that haven't been playing D and D with us, there is a little on your toolbar on the left. There is a little first aid box, and that toggles it. It it it, it opens a little window with a skull, a down arrow. A uh, blue arrow and a health thing, and you can type in a number and then either heal or whatever yourself from that. Oh. So it's just a handy oh. way of doing it uh, that we we use it in the D and D one. So that gives you one sort of damage. Where the H is your H points? Okay, so that you're down to eleven. So Janet takes one. Uh, next up then is uh, the next little critter, which is which one is this? Number five. He runs over at you, Robert, and he latches onto you. And he does you one damage as well. Okay. So uh, can you not like dodge? I mean, just he wants to latch and he latches. Is, is that yeah, it? that's basically it. Yeah, yeah. They're just they're just they're, they're, they're small little things. Yeah, and they're just going to latch onto yeah. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Number seven. Uh, which one is seven? <laughs> is up beside uh, Derek. One of them jumps down on top of you and latches onto you. And you take a damage. I'd like to point out that they didn't manifest, damage, they've, yeah. been, they've been shipping stuff to Passage West. <laughs> Another one jumps onto you. So you've got two of them now. Okay. And this one here runs across, just makes it and latches onto you, Edmund. Again, one damage. And Archibald is outside somewhere. Which one is this then? stays there okay Derek you're up okay I take it like I have two of them latching onto me there yeah so I'm just trying to bash them off me I'm just okay. going to brawl and fight. you can obviously you can shoot them they're big enough you can shoot them you can use your fist to hit or whatever okay so they're big enough to shoot oh fuck oh, yeah, yeah. Revol revolver okay. so I'm trying to blow one off okay so it doesn't really matter but just pick the one on your left or your right yeah righty Right, so target him. Right, he was tidy. Remember, you uh, right-click on him, and there's a little uh, bullseye symbol down the uh, left. Should appear. No, unfortunately. Okay, press the key T. Click on it and press the key T. Press the key T. Uh, yeah, I think so. You should it's get some of... arrows around it. 
this arrow surrounding him. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's targeted now. So now go onto your sheet, um, and on the firearm, you can press... Um, ba -ba -ba bang so not the firearm. Uh, yeah, that's it. So your options here again are single shot, multi shots, or you will roll. If you go multi shots, you will roll them at uh, disadvantage. So you've got it up. So okay. So first of all, you have to decide: are you going to do one shot or multiple shots? Yes, the single shot. Just okay. <laughs> so then, just see on the bottom of it says roll handgun sixty percent. Yeah. Okay. So hit that. And just press roll. Is it? Yeah. Just hit roll. And you were actually, uh, no, that didn't, oh yeah, point blank, yeah, you missed. You missed. Okay, so you missed a point blank. Um, Robert. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pretty much do the same thing. I'm just going to fire my gun at this lad. So... Sorry. No, sorry, hang on a second. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Oh. Yeah, why is Robert up the top? Jump the cube because he's a man. Yeah, I don't know what. I just, I, I just think draw your gun and it. Oh no no no! Draw your gun is um draw your gun is a separate thing and it gives you an advantage on your initiative. So um <laughs> so yeah, don't, you don't need to draw your gun. So you need to target whichever one. Yeah, you have it targeted, and then just hit um. Yeah, and you can either go single shot or multiple shot. Uh, yeah, single shot and roll handgun. Okay, so roll damage. Uh, okay, so uh, it just blows a hole into it as well. Okay, yeah, so uh, you and um, uh, Owen, you've just after hearing Dunica's shot as well going off. So you just heard two shots being fired and you probably heard a lot of yelping uh, going on. Uh Uh, so, Janet, uh, you, you're up. Okay, I'm gone. And if, in case you forget, you will have to, at the end of this combat, because we've had a bit of, you've been attacked by these things, uh, I should have rolled it first, but we should have done a sanity as well. Roll. Target. Is he targeted? Uh, yeah, no, I'll target him for you, though. All right. Okay. I'm going to use my shotgun as well. Okay. Oh, not my shotgun, my, sh my handgun. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'll have to do it for you, won't I? Um, okay, so you're 22. Are you using your handgun? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so and you're just firing one shot, correct? Yeah. Okay. So uh, roll damage. Yeah. So you blow it. The other one it actually just blew up. When when uh, Robert it just shot and. It didn't actually do as much damage as you thought it would have, even at point blank, but it was enough to kill it. But when you shot it with six damage, it just actually shattered into small bits. Okay, Edmund, you're up. Yeah, same. Okay, you should be able to target your own one. Yeah, it's gone, yeah. dink, 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 dink. And again, using the handgun. Okay, you. What did you roll? Uh, okay, yeah, that's good. So again, yeah, inflict pain. Say that again. Inflict pain. I'll do it there. Oh, you don't probably have that option. Uh, no, I don't have it. Okay, so uh, why won't that roll for me? Uh, I'll roll it manually. It's one d ten. Wasn't it? 1D... Oh, 1D6. You did four points of damage to it, so, yeah, you shatter that one as well, the bits. Um, okay, so there's two of them. The bang, this one scuttered off, actually, with the bang. With the, Oh, no, it didn't, actually. Uh, sorry, he's not up yet. Uh, number seven <coughs> is... Which one is seven? It's the one beside Dunica. So the one beside you, Dunica, clamp is, is digs in again. You do another damage from that. And the one beside it also does you another damage. And uh, Derek, you're up. Okay, same thing again. I'm going to try and shoot him again. Okay. 
Yeah. And yeah, you shoot. Bang. Yeah, actually, do you know what? You probably hit on the wrong thing. It's very confusing. Did you? Were you in combat? Or did you uh, yeah, in combat, and I hit handgun at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, because it did... Okay, yeah, now the damage is coming up. I don't know why it was so slow. Okay, so roll the damage there. Okay, I thought I rolled it, did I? No, <clears throat> I didn't. It's... Sorry, yeah. Okay, so it did 1d10. So you did six points of damage, so you blew it. You blew that one apart. Okay, Robert, you're up. I'm gonna walk up. How far can I move, actually? Oh, you can. You've you've plenty of range of movement. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna walk up and point blank at the, at the one next to. Yeah. Um, gonna get. Well, I didn't think of that there. Sorry. <laughs> I'll move you. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's kind of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually was moving as well for some reason. Or other. Um, okay. Uh, target. Um. So, and then nine millimeter. Yeah. Uh, single shot. Roll handgun. Uh, nice, and then yeah, roll damage. damage. So, yeah, six and uh, fifteen points of damage. Is it? <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you blew it the shit out of it. You did. Um, <laughs> shattered everywhere. There's bits of stuff gone. Um, so um, there's one more of them runs towards uh, adding to the tracker. Um, I, I'm sorry, we'll come to the end of that round anyway. Uh, Owen, are you doing anything? Yeah, so I mean, as soon as he heard, you know, gunshots and so many, yeah. he's not thrilled to be running into the fray. And I, I'm, I, I'm going to say that unless I explicitly say Owen is taking the shotgun, you know, out yeah, of there, yeah, okay. he's just got his handgun on him. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you're going to be walking around with a shotgun. He's in a big bag of holding, like. Um, yeah. Does he have enough that he can kind of he'll he get to there? Well, yeah. I suppose he'll move until he sees. Yeah, and don't some of these things. get don't forget to roll initiative for yourself. Oh Jesus, sorry. Um, yeah. And as you round the corner, you see that there's two of them up here as well. Yeah. Um, well, I we just are we doing sanity rolls just after? We'll do the sanity roll after. We should have done it before it, but it's easier just to um to do it. Yeah. Okay, so um, so so there you are, Robert. You can see two of them to the north of you. Um, oh yeah, sorry, it's not my turn. Yeah, um, Derek, you had to go, Robert. I had my go. Oh yeah, you did, Janet. Okay, I am going to step forward to this one here. Yeah. And shoot that one. You have to do that. Okay, there. yeah, I'll do that one. I'll target that for you, and I will roll handgun. Ah, uh, yeah, I see what happened, Dunica. If you're down the bottom and you click on the handgun, it comes up with a roll. That's actually not the best way to do it. That's just your handgun ability. Okay. There, there's two dark blue oh, ones above it. There's weapons and oh, melee weapons. Yeah. If you click on the writing for the range, under the range weapons, uh, is oh, the actual, yeah, brings up yeah, the yeah. macro, okay. like that I just brought up there. So single shot roll handgun. Coolio. Um, and oh, actually, Phil, sorry, sorry, you missed Becky. Here, I've even been able to get that far, actually. They're only three feet, those squares. Okay, yeah, and it's five, it's a yard, something in the move. Yeah. yeah, it's a yard, so um, yeah, yeah, uh, right, uh, Edmund, you're up. Archibald, in the distance, you can hear shots being fired, it's not that far away from you. Janet, Janet targeted that. Yeah. Uh, in the little alcohol and then two damage. No, she missed. The handgun was a failure. Oh. Oh, it is a failure. It's yeah. a failure. Okay. So I'm up. Right, yeah. I'm going to kind of step to the side where I can get a, a, a clean line and target this dude here. Okay, so, yeah, you have him targeted. And remember, it's the w range weapons as opposed to the skill. Yeah. Okay, so... Film. Yeah, no, see, do you know what's after? It's, it's, I think it's because it's the same one with Becky. It's firing. Yeah. It's getting it all confused. Um, yeah. So, look, I'll just open up your sheet there. Uh, actually, do you know what, uh, Ray? Just roll uh, to, to um, you're just rolling normal. 
Uh, you're rolling one shot. So just roll uh, D100. And you're looking for better than 79. And how do I roll a D100? Down, down, the, down the bottom right, just over the word roll, you see there's two dice. That's oh, a D100. Yeah. So hit that once and then hit roll. And this is how we'd be doing it in, in real person world. So that's 45, so that's a success. So okay. uh, now you can do the damage. Well, it's 1d6. It's a 22. Okay. Uh, so you do three points of damage, so you blow it away. So yeah, you, you can hear, um, actually, in the distance, you're hearing gunshots. Yes, and I, I was thinking about that. So, so um, yeah, Archibald would probably draw his gun and and run over was, there yeah. and, and kick open the door if it's not ready yeah. open. Yeah, no, you've so, a bit, you you've a small. You're probably you're probably not going to get to the end of till after Owen's go. You're probably not going to get there. Okay. Uh, so Owen, okay. it's your go now. Yeah, just if he sees this one up here. So is it double double right click? Is it that should be targeted? Is it? Yeah, should be. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, it has a yellow dot, the same yeah. color as you on it. So yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, where's my maximize this? And single shot. Yeah. So then just roll roll handgun. Roll right? handgun. Yeah. I don't know why there was penalty dice. Uh, it's a small target. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, actually should have been a penalty uh, yeah, dice and a uh, uh, raise one as well. But anyway, that was my bad. Um, okay, so uh, Andy, as you uh, you hear that other shot going off. Uh, sorry, I just have to... You... It's very awkward to... Get your characters to see it. I'm sorry, I've got boxes up and over. Yeah, I know. I can select them. Um, I want to add you to the combat tracker. Oh, uh, where are you? Uh, oh, you're in. Uh, you're in. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right in front. So you yeah, ran yeah. in. So you ran in there. I couldn't find you. So I just want to add you to the tracker. Um, so you ran in the door uh, after. Um... Oh shit! That's the wrong one. No. Now you're on the tracker. So on the combat tracker, which is the fist one, uh, uh -huh. just click on the. You should see a dice there. Just click on that. That'll give us your initiative. Yeah. And uh, so on the next round, hey. you're go you're going there. Okay. So uh, yeah. the guy mark crustacean, which is this one here, that's in front of you, jumps in front of you and locks on. So give yourself one damage there. Ah. Uh. Uh, Becky, the one that's beside you, locks onto you, and that's now clamped into your leg, and that gives you a damage as well. Uh, Derek, you're up. Okay, I'll... Uh, can I run over here? And yeah, it's only seven and a half feet. Actually, those, those squares on this map are a foot apart, so yeah, you can easily get there. That's fine. And then T... Okay, target that guy with a T. Yeah. And then... Why the, okay, roll, revolver. Okay, what have you got pulled up there? Closed carol. Okay. It didn't roll. Okay, maybe you're not, have you actually, there's so many things there. Do, try double right-clicking on that, uh, on that crab. Yeah. Yeah, now there's a dot on it. Now, I see that beside it, now there's a colored dot. So roll handgun now. Oh, yeah, single dot. Roll handgun. There we go. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Success. Success. Roll damage. Boom. Okay, so that's enough to kill it. Uh, so, uh, Robert. So, uh, I'm just going to walk up to here. I suppose that's about space. Um, I can't shoot through. No, you can't. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to stand here and go and draw and wait. Okay. Janet? Yeah. Okay. Um. No, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna just move over here. Okay. Uh, Archibald. Yeah. Yeah. Put some caps in its sorry ass. Okay. So make sure you select. So double right click is probably the best way to to uh, double right click the spider or the crab. Sorry. Uh huh. Uh. Okay. And then on your character I mean, sheet. We've we've kind of, we've kind of tried that, haven't we? 
tried tried what? Yeah, the whole double right clicking thing doesn't seem to work. Well, it just works for everyone else. I'm not. Uh, oh, maybe you're on the Mac, aren't you? Yeah, I think T works was for you. I think T was the one for you. T. T. The the the, the letter T. Uh, I don't see a letter T anywhere. Sorry. <laughs> on your keyboard. Hover your mouse oh, and press T yeah. on your keyboard for target. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, now there's a dot. Ah, yeah, now there's a dot. There so, so, yeah. All right. And... On your character sheet under combat, where it says ranged weapons, uh, zero point, uh, point 0.32 revolver. Click on point 0.32 revolver. Yeah, uh, uh, it just says handgun, but all right. No, no, no. That's the skill. Up above that. Oh. Up above that. Oh, right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. There you go, yeah. And now hit roll handgun. Yeah. And it says your target at the crustacean. Single shot, yeah. Single shot, yeah. Otherwise, you'll be at disadvantage. Hold it. Are you seeing a roll? No. No. I'm clicking. Okay, I'll click it for you. There. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, you can try All roll right. damage. See, does that work for you? That does work for me. Six. Six. Okay, so that is enough to oh. destroy that. <sighs> so it's dead as well. Oh, shit, that was you. I deleted. <laughs> uh, okay, so when all that kicked off, um, we, need, we should have taken a sanity roll. You've all seen them, so I need you all to take a sanity check, please. Yeah. Yeah. Sanity. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's that's my roll. My no, I'm assuming that's just straight, just click on. Yeah. On the stat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's not... <laughs> All right. Okay, so two of you have passed so far. One has failed. Edmund. Edmund just passed. Edmund passed. So we're just waiting for you Becky. You don't have to do Becky's a while. Okay. Uh, yeah. Janet. Yeah. So Janet. Uh, sanity is. Yes. Okay, sorry, press roll. Okay, so those of you who passed the sanity check need to take one point of damage. One, okay. So those of you who passed... Uh, damage or, or reduce sorry, sorry, damage. sorry. One sanity loss. My apologies. One sanity. So reduce your sanity by one for those of you who've passed. And for those one of you... brain damage. Yeah, for those of you who failed, uh, you need to roll a D3. Uh, that for fuck's sake. Fair enough. Uh, Derek, how do you uh, how do you get six on a D three, Derek? Uh, I just rolled the dice six. So I said at half it. Okay, so you take three. Yeah, uh, uh, Owen, yeah. you've taken two. And how did you have? Four. Oh, that's true. There's no D3 dice if you're re rolling it, so you roll a D6 and have it, or type uh, slash roll 1D, or you can type it in manually, but roll a D6 and just have it, oh, 3, so, yeah, that's, that's what I, that's what I typed yeah. if you want to, yeah, 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 you take 3, uh, sanity, sanity what? yeah, or lose 3 sanity points, no, I think, did, no, did Jane succeeded, did she? Yeah, yeah, I, I succeeded. yeah Jane, Jane succeeded, so you only take one. I only take one then. Okay. Yeah. So you're I think it's only. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. I think only me and Derek, is it? Most of the other things don't matter, do they? I'm just obviously with that excitement with uh, Warren Billingham. I can't. Um, how the fuck did I make these available to you in the past? Uh, oh, I think I know. Uh, Warren Billingham. I'll right click on it. Configure permissions. Ah, yeah, all players. Okay. 
So you guys. So you guys now should have in your in your uh, journal entries, which is the book symbol, there should be a folder called Innsmouth, and in it should be called Warring, there should be a note called 1.2 Warring Billingham. And if you open that, you'll see the manifest that yeah. uh, Ben is, uh, or Dr. Rattigan has said, you know, look, this is what I found before all that craziness kicked off. Yeah. You'll have to... If you open the window, you'll have to stretch it because it doesn't fucking size properly. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to take a bit of time to read the that. main lobster again. <laughs> so the date, the name of the ship, departure port, and the vessel. Cargo. Oh, actually, what? Because he's had a quick look over it. But if you leave it on the desk for the rest of them, he's actually going to go over and examine these weird, you know, foundations. Yeah. And have ha corpses and do one, specimens and do do one of your roles on your your med your science role there. Yeah, me, ben, uh, Ara, please for me. Uh, so, although this isn't crustaceans, aren't an area that you'd normally deal with, but you know that these are not normal. Uh, these are very malformed. Uh, very big, sort of crab, uh, carnivorous, crustacean-y type of thing, and mm -hmm. uh, it's something you haven't seen. And you think, yeah, this could this could work into your paper on um, uh, fish, fishies, frolics, and fungicides or whatever your paper's on, yeah. which you have to present at the next uh, when we get to April the twenty third. Um, I don't know. And remember, guys, uh, it should, uh, any successes you've had, uh, like on that one, uh, Owen's yeah. one on the side, there should be now a yellow star beside your name. So when you yeah. take a break, you get the option to do a bit more of, uh, to, to, to increase your ability uh, on those. Now, we've been full at it, obviously. I don't know why it's not, it's not popping up on... Uh, What's not popping up? On the pier on my sheet. Uh, it didn't, it no. didn't credit you with that, did it not? I'm not making no anyway. Um, what was that that you did? Uh, zoology. Zoology. Okay, I'll mark it here for you. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because it did it for um, listen and spot hidden from. Yeah. You know. I I don't know why uh, it hasn't done that one for you. But yeah, just make a note of it. So yeah, after you've done a successful roll on anything, just make sure it does credit you with it on the show. Not flagged for development. Double click take. Double flag stays. Oh yeah, you have to double click it. It didn't do it manually. It didn't do it automatically. I think maybe, it's because maybe, it's a sub. Maybe I was single clicking it. No, it should do it automatically. And I think it's because it's a subcategory. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. So just keep an yeah, eye on those. It, yeah, it wants Like yeah. I just checked Becky's one because she rolled um, psychology skills. Yeah, I did. I it actually, never, no, no. I yeah. checked. It. It's gone gold for you. Libraries, yeah. you've loads of them to do, and handgun yeah. and all those. Mm -hmm. We'll do that whenever you just take a break. Um, okay, so is there anyone any questions about my handwriting on that or that ledger that you need to? Just on the the, the, the final entry, October fifteenth is today. October sixteenth. No, today is uh, April the sixteenth or something. Okay. okay. Uh, so. Uh, up as far as so December there was one in December is in the past one is January the 17th was the past February the 10th was the past then there's one March which um, sorry February the 10th was the one and it says lost that was the one that was shipwrecked um, a month or two ago that caused them to be looking hanging around the island uh, looking for the gold uh, then the one in March was cancelled because the boat had sunk and if you notice from april which isn't hasn't happened yet april's next week robert's no not robert uh robert has a meeting or potentially uh ben's lecture i think is around the 23rd and yeah, edmund got a letter to, from an old friend of his uh, lieutenant commander charles grant from the military who wanted to meet you uh to discuss uh a, a scheme and if you remember, he's a bit of a nut job, 
but he was always a good laugh um, and he you know he's quite old he should have been promoted much higher so he you have a meeting with him on around the 22nd or the 23rd uh, in Arkham and uh, so that that that's a shipping that's it that's in the future so for May, April 22nd is in the future May there's a shipment in May and so on so some of the you'll notice some of the uh, shipments that Billingham is in, is organizing are from Innsmouth to Salem and then there's some uh, shipments maybe twice a year from Salem to Passage West. So Archibald, still smoking gun in hand, <laughs> looks around having just entered the room and says, would anybody mind telling me just what the fuck is going on? Crabs. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, this place takes that whole pick a lobster and kill it before you eat it real serious <laughs> take it to the next level <laughs> yeah. so uh yeah ben met up with a young girl and he ended up with crabs <laughs> after having you heard that that's, that's the description for, for um <laughs> to give us all crabs. description for you yeah. yeah you got all got crabs as a result <laughs> so professor erratigan yeah meets a, a bright eyed young girl and uh, <laughs> Gets, over, gets overrun with crabs. Yeah. What, what, happened, what happened surprises everyone. You will never guess. Is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to reload my weapon, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, good time to read. Any one of you that have fired your weapons oh, yeah. to, to reload them. Uh, oh, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll do yours, Becky, in case you can't do yours. Um, yeah. If I continue looking at that chest, though, like, the, anything after that? Um, yeah, it was, yeah, just there's just that, there's nothing, I'm not going to make go to the bother of rolling a spot hidden yeah. for the sake of it, um, but yeah, there's, there's nothing really else, um, in, in this place. It was just those things in the chest, was it? There was just some of them. There was just, they were sort of in the chest and there was stuff you don't know why or whatever reason there. Were they like <laughs> guard dogs or whatever? But um, Ruth never said obviously anything to you. Where's the girl? She lagged her. What did she tell you? She told us what they were trying to steal uh, out of the shop and that she'd been put up to it by uh, the doctor. Uh, it seemed to be a very special book, you know, where suspicions uh, were some sort of spell book. And then all hell, oh, she yeah. it and all hell broke loose. Maybe we should get back to the store. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. Let's go. But here's the thing. So she said, Dr. Rhodes, yeah. colleague of mine, weird guy, professor in the occult at Mr. Uh, Miskatonic. We're, we're so, done. just after propositioning this girl to stay with you, and you've got a big interpretation. You propositioned me. I said I could f help find her an apartment. Uh, well, we think, do we think this guy is, well, he was pally with Avril, so is keeping Avril spellbook in his safe? I've got the smallies just after waking up. Give me, I'll yeah. be back in a minute. All good. What, 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 why did the, why did we get attacked by the crabs? Who's who's at the setting them on us? What's that about? Was it Root? Was it Mr. White didn't like the, the look of us and sent them to us where we are? Like what's going on with the crabs? We well, were. I don't lucky. think we're gonna, we're not going to find an answer to that anytime soon. But uh, but I think we need to get back that safe. Yeah. Because obviously yeah. there's something important in there. And so at least some of us have to go meet um, well if we want to meet this guy Avril for lunch at his, at, his, at his residence right I think we do I think we definitely should and, um, and whoever mm. does can, um, can let the rest of us know uh, what's up with him later on um, is it yeah. is it going to be? I mean, I heard the shots. Is it is it far from the um, from the convenience store? You're asking me. Um, okay, so um, let me just check there. Uh, he lives in 
Chris Street. Uh, now you do have a map, so you'd be able to. You know where he lives, so you'd be able to have a rumble through your map. Uh, but I'll, I'll have a look there. Uh, He's up in the harbour. Have you have you just yeah. checked? Have you, uh, you got it there? Uh, a few now trees. Sorry, I'm trying to. Uh, He's nine oh three. So his his token of the building is nine oh three. So he is in seven hundred nine oh three. So I think he's in the west side of the town. There seems to be a number of nine oh trees in that. If I'm looking at right, how do I zoom in on this thing? I see a nine oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There are several nine oh trees down by the harbor. Oh, sorry. He lives at nine oh three Pier Street. It's actually number four oh two on the map. Is yeah, uh, it's four oh two under that. Would be that be east, east, yeah. yeah that, so, oh yeah, just there at the top. Four oh two. Oh yeah, yeah he's up the there. top, and you guys are roughly at. Uh, you guys are, I think two oh something, or seven oh. You're thinking of seven oh one. First National is seven oh one. So see, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the other side of town. Uh, I see weight down there. It's that's yeah. way far. Yeah, so it's a bit. Well, you do have vehicles, but yeah. Two vehicles. Yeah. yeah. No, he said he'd see you in a couple of hours. It's probably you've had a chat with Wyatt in the meantime for maybe ten, fifteen minutes, and then you came around the corner and had a chat with your one for maybe ten or fifteen minutes. So it's probably only been a half an hour, forty minutes, uh, since you actually left him. Yeah. Okay. We got time. Uh, with the weird crustaceans, I mean. I know simple's, you know, not really the word, but it could be as simple as this is a weird town, there's all weird kind of fish monsters. Is this just the seafood, you know, that, that Billingham sells? You know, is if it's packaged up, you know, in crab cakes or whatever, and it's just the meat from these weird crustaceans. Did, did, we, did, we, did we scour around this place fully before they attacked us? Um... I just opened the chest, wasn't it? You, you you have yeah. found you're fairly confident that you've found everything that you're going to find in there, yeah. It's pretty okay. bare, more more open space kind of thing, just like that. Uh... Okay, well we go back to the uh back to the shop then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Wh which shop? Wyatt's shop, is it? Wyatt's. Yeah, the safe. Okay. Yeah, check on it. Um I'll, right. Will I move your map so yeah? Uh, okay, First National, activate. Okay, so you're you're all in various locations around the map from where you're left, but as, as you guys can't get into the shop. Um, hey, I'm there again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll move the rest of you in. Um, Okay, and what are you doing in the meantime? You're rooting around the shop still, is it? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take a look around and, and make sure that everything is the way it was when when I left when I ran out of there that nothing's been moved around okay. and that um, nobody's left any new clues or traces of anything. Yeah. Okay. Give me a, give roll me a, a spot hidden so please. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you don't notice anything has changed from when you were here last. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, sorry. There is, there is, I mean, there isn't much of interest, but there is a, 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 a book uh, on the counter that sort of shows... Um, you know bills coming in and coming out um to wyatt and you can see that he's making a small profit from the shop but nothing very substantial but it's barely you'd imagine that he's he's clinging on you know um he must mm -hmm. own the property because he certainly could be paying rent or anything and it has his address on it which is um mm. what's his address uh I 
think it's where does he live uh, I, I, anyway I can't remember the name of the street but on, on your map it's and uh, house it's house number 305 uh, is where he lives uh, it's his home address you know there's bills too and stuff from Dark Street something uh, yeah 305 And it's a very old map of Innsmouth. Uh, I think this is from one of the very first stories. Uh, someone printed up this map. I can't even find it on it, but I made a note. It's 305. Oh, yeah, it's off Dock Street. So it's halfway. Yeah, it's about halfway to Quinton Avril's. It's about halfway to Quinton Avril's. There is no reason a guy like this would have a safe like that. Doesn't make sense. What did the girl tell you about the safe and and the the robbery and their motive for it? Doctor Quentin was was trying to acquire the book that they think was in the safe. Doctor Rhodes. Why would they? They tried to buy it, wouldn't sell it, so it, then it was torn into stealing it. But but why would he need that book? He didn't say, but we suspect it's a he's, he's, Well, he's—I, uh, I, sorry, I might have got lost in 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 the crustacean kerfuffle. Um, Owen Owen says uh, he he knows. I mean, not like a personal friend, but but Doctor Rhodes is a professor of the occult at Miskato at Miskatonic University. So, spellbook. Oh, so I'm assuming it's the spellbook, yeah, because yeah. Avril was pally with. They were chatting on the street before he approached us, and he had. Mm. We've been told he has a he has a demonic spell book, or you know. So maybe Rhodes wants. Whether it's maybe it's purely academic, or maybe he knows that there's actual power in the book. Either way, it's uh, you know. Uh, obviously, Ben, the person doesn't know, but. Um... Dr. O'Ratigan would know from the university that Rhodes is quite a well-renowned professor. He goes off, um, he's, he's sort of the Indiana Jones type. He goes off on these missions and uh, there's actually a couple of stories about him in the, uh, in the Keepers, in a, di a different one where uh, he goes off and uh, gets caught up in, a, a que in another quest. So he's, one, he's a bit of a, a well-known... Um, okay researcher of occult uh from the meetings that ben has had with him uh he's formed the impression that Rhodes just is fascinated by the occult but he's not necessarily up to anything with it but it's just his area of expertise he doesn't look uh, like he's twirling his mustache or anything no just... no he it's just his area that he researches um because obviously you, you don't have to believe in the cthulhu uh you can just be yeah whatever so uh he's yeah. seen a lot of weird things but he's always just explained them away as whatever so he's a well-known um uh, he's a bit of a high profile celebrity in miskatonic and that's why he's sort of speaking at this big um thing that uh, ben has got one of the minor slots in but he's on the front of stage like yeah so I'll just put that in context this is obviously something that our uh, ratigan would know but that's obviously yeah. ben did when we were Basically, going into owen was doing my panel at Comic Con, and yeah. Rhodes had Ron Perlman slot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, very much so. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So just that's actually handy because I, yeah, I don't know my spells, whether he was supposed to be. Yeah, it's got him exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I obviously relay that to everybody. to the party. Yeah, he doesn't seem, you know. Well, either uh, we're getting up, we're getting. This safe cracked open somehow. Uh, oh, we're gonna Whoa. have to bring it along back with us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Whichever is fine to me. Is I mean, there's. It, I wonder, is there something? Probably something still in the safe. If if this guy waits was so cagey and he ran off. We can't take that chance. We, yeah. we no, no. I'm, I'm yeah. saying it's, 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 it's a, because of the way he reacted. It's a, it's, it's a possible. Like it's still likely. It, it absolutely is. And and yeah. from the the shit we've seen these last couple of days, I mean, 
I'm willing to believe anything at this point. Um, mm. and, and we know the bad shit's gone down uh, around these parts, so we can't take any chances. Hmm. Well, whenever we do go to meet Avril, um, I'd say I'll have to go because I was the one chatting to him, so presumably mm. at least uh, Owen at least would have to go. You got Whoever some rapport, so that home. makes sense. Yeah. Y'all, y'all talk to the girl. How did she say they tried to break into the safe? <laughs> Very cruelly. Crowbars. Crowbar, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. brute force. Yeah, they, 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 all they did was damage the paint wolf, it, it, it seems. Yeah. And then they were caught. He walked in on them and, and called mm. the cops. Did um did Roos give us the keys to the sh the proper keys to the shop now? Yeah, did you swap all the keys or just take the keys? No, from she just took the keys from you and opened up her yeah. father's place. Oh, okay. Well, she's over there now. In uh... no, she what said about... she was going home. Oh, did she? Yeah. What about your man Brian, who we know is in the jailhouse? Yeah. Like we could always go ask him. We could, we could. Um, I don't you... have any uh, written uh, written orders or anything, but uh, but I could always bluff it. Try to smooth talk, maybe. The FBI yeah, could uh, take him into his custody. Yeah, it's worth. A, yeah, it's 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 worth a try. Um, yeah. If anybody wants to volunteer uh, for staying put at this place, um, sure, I'll um, I'll go to the police station right away. Where is it? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the police station is sorry it's on your map i think it's 201 or 202 uh just let me check quickly it is let's see notes 202 it's on 202 on the map so uh, I, want to stay. I, I can i can stay definitely the two lawmen okay. should go yeah we should i, I should yeah. go to the station as well Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so uh, take your car. Yeah, take the car. Right on. Don't get the van with the pig and the kids is still there. Burn, 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 burn. Okay, so uh, I'm staying in the van, uh, with the shotgun, and watching. So who's going to the? Uh, uh, who is going to uh, the jail? Police station. Police station. Uh, I'll I'll stay with Ben uh, as well. Maybe oh, maybe oh, somebody oh, should. We haven't we haven't fed the kids yet, have we? Yeah, we fed them all. Oh, yeah, um, okay, okay, Jane great. and Owen popped out with the stuff. Okay, great. So sorry, who who am I? So definitely, uh, Archibald is gone to the police station, and Derek, police station. Derek, you've gone to the police station, and the rest of you. Yeah, we're staying with Ben. With, okay, um, I'm going. Edmund will go to the police station as well. Okay. I'm very naughty. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is, with the others, I'm going to actually throw the two of you onto the map as hidden, um, so that you can just actually just throw you on the map. Uh, so who's not staying is Ben and uh, Robert. Me and, me and Mikey are, are... Yeah. So I'm just going to mark you down as visible or invisible, so you'll, you'll see what's what's going on. Um, but... Um, Okay, so the rest of you is, um, okay, so you arrive outside at the police station, again, it's, it's nothing much to write home, like everything else in the town, with the exception of, uh, First National, it's fairly dilapidated, run down, it looks actually like part of the roof has collapsed, um, so, um, what you see is, what you see is what you get, what you see is there's a, building here at the front where you are there is a side road uh down to the sort of the north of the map where dunnick is moving his mouse what present. did what did the girl say she said she could see him she said she was when able to talk to him yeah through the bars of the uh, the jail through this the cells at the back of the jail um uh, she was able to talk through just, I'm, I just want to take a quick kind of just, I suppose, a route around the back and to see is that okay. Yeah, so you should be able to walk around that. Uh, and it's just. It be... have to... 
I just want to see if, if she was telling the truth, if that's correct. You know, I'm just having a look to see yeah. if there are, just if there's, if I can see the bars at the back of the building, that's all. I can't move my character, Phil, it's locked just for... Oh, no, it's moving now. No, it's... Oh, that's Andy that's moving, is it? Um, oh, uh, Andy's on his there. move. I see some, uh, so yeah, Andy's yeah, yeah. character has moved. Hey. I'll move yours. There uh... we go. There we go. So, uh, yeah, Andy okay. gets... Andy gets to the back of the building. Jonica, are you seeing there now, are you? Yeah, I can see it there, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, you can see, uh, you can, you can see into the cells, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, the story kind of checks out. Yeah. Can and we, can we, uh, can we, can we see, I mean, obviously. Yeah, you can, uh, you're this. looking in the, 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 the cell windows. You can, you should be able to see a character in there, can you? I can, yes. Yeah, so you can see there's a guy, there's a youngish guy in, in the cell there. And, um, yeah, he's sort of sitting on the bed. <laughs> Just, yeah, All not right. up too much. Well, I'm going to, like, pull out a coin and uh, tap the, the bars a little. I suppose there's going to be some bars. Okay, yeah, there are bars. And actually, do me a spot hidden, will you, please? Yes, you bet. Uh... Boom. Right, so twenty nine. All right, okay, 29. fair enough. Only got twenty five. Oh, okay. yeah. Lock it. You can add now. You can use four points of luck to make yourself pass on that, if you want okay. to. Okay. Well, that does sound like a uh, an offer I can't refuse. Where's my luck? Is your look is just under your picture? There's a tentacle and it says look 65 yeah, currently. Right. So just unlock and I change will, that to 61. Uh, I will draw okay. Yeah, spot gotcha. on. So you yeah. as you tap the bars with the coin, you notice that the bars are very uh rickety and that the the, the mortar holding in the bars isn't the most strongest. But do, do I get the guy's attention? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So he looks around and he goes, hello. Brian Burnham? The, at your disposal, sir. How may I help you? You're under arrest, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me something I didn't know. <laughs> well, listen, my name is Detectable Arch... Detectable? <laughs> Detective Archibald. <laughs> My name is Archibald, and I'm also, you can also detect me right out here. My name yeah. is Detective Lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Ipswich Police Department. Um, I want to ask you a couple of questions. I'm, I'm, not, here to, I'm not here to hurt you, um, and I'm not here to interrogate you officially. Um, I'm trying to find out um, about some disappearing children. And I understand that uh, that you were involved with uh, with the mayor's son in Ipswich. Is that correct, uh, Nathaniel? Yeah, yeah. We go way back. We're good friends. Do you know where he is right now? Well, I would imagine hey, he's headed off to uh, he's somewhere heading back to Ipswich. He was he was let go from here a couple of hours back. Really? Why? Why? Uh, because. They obviously felt uh, he was the mayor's son and they weren't going to press charges. Uh-huh. All right. Well, you've been involved with some, um, shall we say, shady business. Again, I'm not judging or, or I'm not uh, holding it against you as a cop, but I, I, I think we can save some lives here. So, so you were involved in a robbery? Uh, I would probably say attempted, as we didn't actually succeed in robbing anything. Right. What were your motives for doing that? Well, my girlfriend Ruth um, told me that um, there were some very, very uh, devious and very dangerous people around town, and that she had heard there was evidence in the safe which... Uh, we could bring to the to the police in uh, Arkham and that they would be able to arrest these people 
Uh, and so that's why we were trying to get the information out of the safe. Okay. And you're so using crowbars? Well, we, we didn't have the key. The key for the safe is um, uh, in Wyatt. Wyatt must keep in his house. Um, so we didn't have, we wouldn't have been able to get into his house because that would have been breaking into someone's house. And, you know, I, I'm quite law abiding. I don't mind break getting into, into the shop to get evidence of, of, of wrongdoing so that we can bring it to the proper police, not these got weird, strange people here. Um, so yeah, but I'm not going to break into someone's house and steal a key. Mm. Okay. But now that you're here, you, you'll be able to, to, to get the evidence out of the safe and, that will, um, you know, um, that that will bring these people to justice. I can't. I'm afraid I can't tell you any more at this point. But um, but you haven't seen the last of me. Uh, do you know where Mr. White lives? Yeah, his house is number whatever it was in the map. Uh, <laughs> trio, yeah, whatever. It's in Innsmouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he lives in. Um, sorry. Uh, I think it's Trio. Yeah, it's number 305 on the map. All right. Uh, Duck so, Street. Uh, he lives on Duck Street, I think. All right. With his daughter. Thank you very much. His daughter, uh, um, I can't remember her name. She always comes into the shop. Uh, she's always she's nice. She's, she's a bit of a sad girl. Uh, she's like so many of them down around here. Uh, not something... You know, they all have quite sad lives. That's why you need to get the uh, the uh, the bureau involved with here, and that's why Ruth said there was a lot of evidence in why it's safe. Did she say who the evidence would uh, implicate? Uh, no, sir, she didn't. No names. She, no Tell names. Us what you know. Whoa, back up there. <laughs> who are you? Are you a I policeman know, as well? I'm a detective. It's okay. He's with me. Okay. Um. No, but there's um there's a there's a real weird sort of cult around and they call themselves the Esoteric Order of the Dogon and they have a big um they have rituals um in the town and it's this is a sort of a strange place you wouldn't want to go out after nighttime uh, around here and it's something so then when Ruth said she wanted to get out of town I said yeah it was a good idea but um we were going to go, but she wanted to get the evidence to give to the police. She's a very good girl that way. You know, she's never thinks of herself. She's always thinking of others. And do you know what the order was doing? What was the, what was the, the, the crimes that they were involved in that the evidence would, would, would lock them up? I, I don't know. I'm only here a couple of months, but I, I've heard things of people going missing, but I, I don't know what they do with them. Is the children going missing? Well, there, there's there's not many children here, and they're all all the children are a bit weird. Um, I've never seen any of the children here going missing. No, sir. There's not many children here. They don't, you know. Was there, few, was there more children here yeah. a year ago? <laughs> yeah. Well, there there was, sir, because uh, some of them reached their 18th birthday and were classed as adults. So yeah. Don't be a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't say the children looked weird. Yeah, they have that, you know, like that their eyes are a bit too far apart. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you ever see kids out playing in the playing outside or anything? Or do you, uh, you know, well, where do they normally go to school and stuff like that? Uh, I don't think they do, ma'am. It's a bit of a strange. There isn't that many children, and it's a bit of a, it's a very strange place. Yeah, I'm just struggling that. Well, kid, you've been very helpful so far, and uh, like I said, I don't think we've seen the last of each other. Um, yeah. Right now, we gotta investigate a little further, but um, but we think, might be back at some point before you know it. You, do you think you might get roads out there to release me? What, what did you tell them, what, what did you tell them you were doing? Uh, I, I told them that um, uh, we uh, had put some money from the First National into the safe for safekeeping, and we needed to get it back. 
Oh, okay. Does he believe you? Uh, he's not the brightest, but no, I don't think he did. But I think, I think there was something up. I think, yeah, I, I think he knows what's in the safe, and yeah, I think that's that's you, the problem. You, you, you set the cops here are weird. Why, why, why are the cops weird other than they're just cops? Why are they weird? Um, they don't really. I mean, I've had my run in with the police up in Arkham, and uh, you know they're usually tough but they give you a couple of knocks and uh, you know they're not on the take they're usually quite good but these guys they're they uh, you just couldn't trust them they're they they you know they they seem to be like power onto themselves um uh, they don't seem to answer to anywhere anybody else um and they anytime uh on gilman's bus uh from comes in uh from outsiders they, they usually try to get rid of people especially uh if there's a full moon uh night of a full moon which i actually think there is one tonight but they usually don't like having uh outsiders in town okay hmm. interesting you know i think uh i think my companion derek uh, here and i might go and talk to uh what did you say his name was uh Rhodes, constable Rhodes. Rhodes. yes We'll see what we can do, all right, kid? Okay. See, so what time so, is it now? In, in Arkham, or in the real world, or, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, or fucking in Innsmouth. Um, yeah, yeah. It is, uh, we are probably gone about one o'clock, we are. Okay. So when were we supposed to meet uh, that guy for dinner? Or yeah. lunch? Or Two, two-ish. Two-ish. Okay. Oh, great. We can, we can do that. Um, so let's so, so uh, Archibald needs Derek's help <laughs> to, to play the feds card if, if that's uh, if it comes yeah. to that again, uh, seems pretty useful so far. So, but let's uh, let's go speak to Rhodes. Can you move your guy, Dunica? Is it still not moving for you? No, I can't. Every time I do it, Phil, it just kind of just shows like um, range. Oh, hang on. Oh, because you, you're, yeah, yeah. You need to select the person icon and the square. Yeah, and so, the square. Oh, okay, the yeah. top, yeah, because you're actually on okay. the range marker. Range distance one, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Here we go. I can move my guy now again. All right. Wow. Um, no. Sorry, two seconds there. I just want to move the, the observers over. Okay, so yeah, the door, I don't think the door is locked. Oh, knock, knock. Yeah, knock. so so you go in and there's a guy, uh, ugly looking, in the mouth yeah. look character, sitting at the desk asleep. Uh. And he's snoring away. <laughs> Sorry, that's fucking hell. Did, did you make that recording yourself? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> So he's passed uh, out. Uh, and are you going to wake him up or are you going to just... Just have a look around. So the, the police station is fairly much uh, as it looks. There's a sort of a bunk down the bottom corner. There's some crap and like the ceiling has collapsed down around here. Um, there's a stove and there's a fireplace and it's very itty bitty. It's very much you are actually you and um, Archer. I'm gonna stop him. He's fucking gonna drive me mad. That's snoring. Um, the uh, you and Archibald are looking at each other, going, "What a shithole!" Even and you've been in some rural police stations in your life, uh, but yeah. like this is really pure shit. And Archibald, you went out the back there. There were stairs just where you're looking. Yeah. There's all rubble in yeah. front of them. Those stairs have collapsed, and there's a hole in the roof, like. So it's it's fairly shit. And there's there's four cells. You can see there's four cell doors there. There's the one where Brian is, and then there's the other tree. Yeah. And I suppose the doors are all locked. Uh, the ones, but Dunica, you notice there's a keychain on the board beside behind ropes, the constable ropes, and there's like cell keys on it. There's key numbers. One numbered one, two, three, and four. 
Okay, cool. Is he is he like cooperative? Who ropes? Yeah. No, I'm just yeah. I'm just... Okay, I tell you what, you do um, a psychology check on him. We'll see what happens. I don't think I should. <laughs> No, I, but I don't. <laughs> well, do you want to get one of somebody who's good in your party doing a psychology check? Maybe someone should do a psychology check. Yeah, I am. Okay, uh, I'll roll a... He's gone off yeah. snoring again, he is. I thought I stopped him from snoring. Hang on. Right. Right, psychology. Um... The fuck won't stop snoring. Um, <laughs> um so <laughs> um, right. So uh, yeah, it. Uh, what was the question? Was he going to be cooperative? Right now, you're going to do psychology. Yeah, I did a psychology, and you passed it. And Dunnick wanted to know: Did it look like he was going to be cooperative? And so, Janet, you look over there, and I'm going to whisper this to you, just to see what this okay. work. Uh... So that's what you can tell, what he looks like. He's absolutely not going to help. He's a cranky fucker. <laughs> Okay. I'm just going to, yeah, step away before I wake him up and make him even crankier. <laughs> yeah, he's, no, he, you can just tell by the look of him. Not a fucking chance. <coughs> okay. Okay, well, see any keys around? Yeah, Dunnick has spotted the keys, but while you were in at the cells, there's keys, there's a keyboard hanging up over his head, behind him, like on the wall. And there's, they're numbered one to four. And you know there's four like, cells in the back. Oh, like... What what we're looking at here is basically breaking your man out. But why don't we just point out to Brian that his bars are a bit loose? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The bars mm. are loose, uh, but you would probably you wouldn't probably be able to pull them out by hand. Okay. You know no, they're not I, that and loose. I, like as as a law man, I I do have certain scruples about this. Um, even though I'm not here officially, so. Okay, well, maybe, maybe, maybe this this piece of shit behind the desk here. The easiest thing to do is to basically, you know, reverse psychology. <laughs> if he's, he's not gonna cooperate with us. Yeah. Uh, well, let's. Uh, so do we do we do we do it the do it the hard way? Wake him up and and give him our pitch and and let him reject us until uh, until things get ugly. Is that it? Or kind of just demand that he does all the paperwork. Demand he has to keep your man in the cell. Demand this. <laughs> <laughs> could, could it be you know maybe try and bluff it that you're you know you're a cop from Ipswich and you just want to make sure all the loose ends. From the mayor's son are tidied up so that it doesn't you know become public and to make sure that this guy is released immediately and not to press charges so that it all just disappears mm. and we'd have to do a series of persuade you know passes but yeah because, i guess yeah, that was not gonna just just us breaking them out is I'm not yeah. sure why yeah, why you would do that. Are we worried for his life? Is his life in there? Yeah, that's, that's 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 also the, what I'm considering is our motivation. Yeah. It's like why do we I mean he's he's I, I believe him and it sounds like his story checks out with what you guys have heard. Um <laughs> but 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 I can't I can't very well justify Breaking in, even though this is, I mean, even though I'm not officially here as a as a uh, as a police detective, um, I'm, I'm I I I would have to at least go uh, go the way of, of of somewhat of the law and and try to convince him that that I'm actually um, authorized to do this. So, on, on the other, on the other hand, like. The, the newspaper that we read earlier that said he fled, is, is that a cover story for the cops about to kill him? 
and the bars are loose and that's how it's explained maybe at some stage and but really they're going to bump them off so that the whole thing is 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 tidied up it could very well be yeah like um, why is he denying that he's in custody why is it why is yeah, he why is that so is he in danger and you are know, going to turn him into a pig or use him in one of the experiments yeah. in the doctor's place? So for that reason, would we want to rescue him? I'm just not sure. Meanwhile, no. while that's going on, um, Robert and um, uh, Ben, uh, Wyatt ar starts arriving back in the shop. I didn't expect his party to split up, so uh, they arrive back in the shop. Yeah. I'm not going to change the screen. We, we'll just, we, can, we can act okay. that out. Mm -hmm. Just why... Wyatt and someone else or just... No, Wyatt, just Wyatt. Okay. So you can have a think about what you want to ask him. Yeah, well, because uh, I was thinking we'd be waiting. We, I was waiting in the van, or did you want to wait in the shop? Wyatt? Well, I didn't know where you were waiting. Where are you waiting? Well, you were waiting in the van, I went out with you. Okay, so you're about, you, see, like, you see Wyatt going back into the shop. The road, so yeah. You see Wyatt going yeah. back into his shop. So uh, if you're going to follow him in or whatever. It could be quite, it's could go in and try and be friendly with him and go, oh, no. You, you, you know, you've your own thing to be worrying about in the jail now. Don't be worrying about or, them. Or, or no, the cops aren't there that we can just pull a gun on him and be like, yeah. here, open the fucking tape. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, this is the thing. I'm kind of looking at Robert and I have the, sh I have the shotgun in my lap. And, yeah. and I, I have a and revolver and a pistol. Looking like. at the shotgun and looking at the door and kind of like. Just lock the door behind you. Are, are we bringing the shotgun? Are we. Okay, so quickly back to the jail. Have you made up your mind what you're doing? Ah, we'll just chance our arms. We'll just I'll, 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 I'll kick the table to wake your man up. Yeah. I have my magic yeah. hand. Okay, so he well, he he drolls something. He goes, "Who are you, boy?" <laughs> oh, where's I? Uh, pull, I pull out my badge. You. Okay, yeah. I pull out my badge. And he says, "Detective oh. Archibald Walters, Ipswich Police Department. I have orders to uh, to bring Brian Burnham with me to Ipswich." Because right. let me see that badge there, boy. Let me see the badge. I hand him the badge. And he tries and he flings it at the window, and he goes, "No, you fuck off after that, boy. Okay, get out of my way. Fuck off. I don't have anybody I'm, here I'm called sorry. Burnham. Fuck off." We know you do. Fuck and, off. Um, what part of well, fuck we, off? Don't you know? Hey, where are you going? We are Phil. Open the door and shout okay. in. Brian, Brian Burnham, you in there? Okay. And with that, he uh, ropes, jumps up from his desk and pulls out his revolver. So we're going to go. Those of us that are there are going to go into combat. And, and I pull out mine. Yeah. So, uh... So you should be all on the combat tracker now. Okay, so I'm gonna roll initiative for my guy. You roll with yours. Um, those of you in the shop, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I think we just head in with the guns and just close the door behind us and force them to open the safe. Okay, so you're getting out. Okay, so you're doing that. So you've your guns out. You've gone into the shop after him, and you've pulled your weapons on him. He's unarmed, so they're not going to go into combat. And he goes, "I don't have much money. I don't have much money." Okay, so we'll go to our in combat there. So the first person up is Derek. So, um, yeah. Okay, just a regular shot with pistol. Okay, so don't forget to target him. Yeah. Uh, I think I have. I think I have him targeted. I'm gonna go. Bang. You don't. I don't think you do because you would have had a dot over over him, if you had. Uh, yeah. Just 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 four arrows pointing at him. Okay. It usually comes up with the player's dot. Go on. We'll see what happens. And uh, it's not long range. That can't couldn't be long range. Uh, so un I'll uncheck long range because that's not long range. It's in base range. Okay. Uh, go on. Yeah. Go roll handgun. Okay. Okay. Roll Hard damage. success. Roll damage. Grand. Okay. And then I'll just step inside. Here, okay. Just... So he t he's lets a yelp out. Shot goes off, and you you uh, fucking contact with him. Okay, Janice, you're up. Okay. Well, I don't really want to be shooting an actual policeman. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> 
Yeah, not just yet in any way. Okay, you I can run to... away or you can do nothing. I'm going to move the door to keep sketch so okay. if anybody comes, I'd let them know someone's coming or not coming. You know that way. Yeah. So uh, Archibald turns and looks at uh, uh, you, Andy, um, and uh, he uh, is going to... He's taken a he's taken a chunk out of him. Uh, so from Dunica, he's he's clearly in pain, and he's going to shoot at you at point blank range. Okay, and he hits you. And he does you six damage. Huh. Okay. Ouch. Did that automatically stick that onto you, did it? Uh, yeah, it shit, did. fuck, I'm down. Okay, so, all right, you're really fucked. Um, so what's after yeah. happening to you is um, you have taken a mortal wound, uh, so you're going to have to make a constitution save. If you fail yeah. the constitution save, you will die. So that's, not, that's going to be on your turn, though. Um, so, uh, but, but right now is my turn. Oh, is it your turn? Okay. Sorry. I just got combat tracker. Okay. So yeah, you're unconscious. So yeah, it is your turn. So you need to make a constitution save. Uh, so up right. on, up in the top right under your main stat blocks, you'll see the word con. Uh, I mean, I've, I've got, I've got it on the, uh, right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Do it. So yeah. Oh, it came up automatically. Yeah. For you. Um, yeah. User Andy lacks permission to update chat message. D-A-Y-C-M okay. something something. Yeah, okay, I'll roll that for you, so. And you, you're fine. You passed that constitution save. But as Ooh. until but as long as combat goes, you're going to have to take it every round. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Edmund, you're up. Now, you Welcome. could... Somebody gives him first aid. Yeah, right? exactly. So, Edmund, you could actually run over and try and administer first aid. So, Michael, where's your character? I can't see it on He's the... run out the door. <laughs> he just <laughs> the door. Just legged it? Yeah. I just popped in, took my shot, and just... He's, he's over by the cells. I'm over here. Yeah. Are you Are you going to try and admin, run over and administer first aid to Archibald? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll move you. Oh, yeah. I've moved it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. That was me. <laughs> Everybody moved. <laughs> and then, okay. Edmund. Back some more. Yeah. And we're looking for skills. And you are. First aid. First aid, yeah, it's a good one. Is it, in, is it a combat skill? Um, no, no, it's on the main sheet. Okay, go. Oh, very good. Okay, so. Uh, you're not gonna so you're not dying um you stopped dying uh so which one of these icons is so you're no longer dying uh you are on the ground and you are you still have oops zero to ten, to ten and you don't have a major wound anymore okay so you're unconscious now and you're on the ground uh but you're not going to die which is good um okay yeah. so uh back to the tracker uh robert you're on the tracker derek right i'll pop, pop out again out. yeah and i'll uh it's not long range you're saying no so. yeah uncheck the long range just go back to base range i can't okay i'll do it for you okay thank you guys for fuck's sake Okay. Uh, can I push that? Uh, can you push? Yes, you can push combat rolls. Yeah. Uh, can so, you push? Uh, two seconds. Can you push combat roll? Uh, no, combat rolls cannot be pushed. Okay. Like that. Uh, okay. So right, that was you. Uh, Janice, you're up. If you want to do anything. Okay. Now, you've seen uh, him trying to shoot at Dunica. Dunica, he missed, and then he's after blowing a hole uh, uh, into uh, Archibald, 
and Archibald's in a heap on the ground. There was blood everywhere. Uh, so this guy is, yeah. Okay, so can I move to here? Yeah. And I'm going to use. Um, see, sorry, just let me check combat. I'm going to take out my shotgun. Okay. And I'm going to use that. You'll have to do that. Yeah. Still. Yeah, I'm just doing it there now. Okay, so you're going to try your shotgun on him and yeah, I'll, just kind of, I'll just step back there okay and point blank range so yeah damage boom, boom. Yeah. and he's dead so you fired your shotgun at him and you just blew a big hole into his head mm-hmm. and there's bits yeah. of there's bits of him all on the wall and everything behind Okay, well, should we drag his body into oh, the cell and dump it in the cell? Well, I take it the big blood spatter. I take it we just <laughs> leave it. <laughs> oh, I was just just trying to tidy up. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, mean. Okay, while you're doing that, meanwhile, oh, Ben's gone. <laughs> uh, Robert, so what do you want to do back in the shop? You've got the gun out on um, uh, on the other fella um, and. Um, you, you've asked him for and he said he's no money. Yeah, I basically so said, have the gun pointed into his back and I'm going to be leading him towards the back room, towards the safe. And he goes, uh, he says, I, I don't keep the safe, key to the safe here. It's at home. I don't keep the safe here. And the key isn't on me. Okay. Um, well, I guess we're taking a trip to his house, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, he goes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, but he goes, don't have me. He says, I've got a daughter and there's no one to look after my daughter. So don't, please don't. You you can have whatever in the house, but don't. And I've my wife's jewellery is in the house and you can have all that. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, there's no one to look after my daughter. Okay, guys, back in the jail, what are you going to do? You have an unconscious uh, cop with you and you've, how did you get there? Did you walk or did you take the pig van? Oh, you took Derek's van. Drove, uh, yeah. You drove. Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, so, and your man Burnham's in the back. Are you going to take him out, or what are you doing? I think we have to take him out now. <laughs> I should have just taken I, the key. I, I, I don't have any um, well, you've passed out anyway, so. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah, you can. You obviously can take the keys off. Um, so. Doors and lock. So yeah, you can take Burnham with him if you want to decide on that. Um, and your guys, you are heading off to uh, Wyatt's house, correct? Okay. So um, do we, we make him? Do we make him drive? He drove back, didn't he? Uh, no, you just saw him walking around the corner. You don't know how okay. he got back. No. So do we go into the van and one of us drives? One of us has the gun pointed at him. Okay. I suppose so. Yeah, with the four seats up front, right? Yeah. Sounds okay. good. Right, so you pull up. What the fuck? Oh, sorry, get rid of it. Well, sorry, where are you guys? Oh, I need to get rid of him out of there. Sorry, guys, I'll place this outside. Um, don't look, don't look. <laughs> um, okay, so, sorry, you're. Get out of the way. Right, so the two of you are arriving outside of. I just see a black screen now. That's okay, yeah, yeah, that's what you're meant to see. Okay. Uh, I haven't dropped anyone onto the map yet. Cool. Uh, So, there is who? It's Owen and Mikey are the only two. Robert, Robert. Okay, so the two of you arrive uh, with Wyatt as with you. I have to get his character. NPC. Um, Thomas is his name. Sorry, Thomas Wyatt. Okay, so yeah, you arrive at his house. Uh, can you see that there now? You should see. Yep. You might have to scroll uh, yep. across to yep. the left. Yep. It's a it's a big map. Yeah, it's basically there. So you you come to this. 
I don't know how you... Oh, you can see in through the window. Um, so you're outside, you're looking in. It's a big house. It's an, one of these old, again, Ipswichian houses. Sorry, I'll do the same thing again for the other guys. I'll throw um, your characters on the map so you can uh, you can see what's going on. There's Archibald. There's Derek. Uh, Janet. And Edmund. Okay, so you guys should see there now outside the house. So, yeah, it's a big old house. He's at, you're at the front door with Thomas Wyatt. And he's oh. saying, yeah. Um, yeah. If he's unarmed, we need to keep the guns on him. Yeah. Well, that's that's your decision. So he goes, uh, oh, and outside uh, on the swing, there's his daughter is singing on the swing and she's just sitting there. Yeah, well, I'm well, oh, seeing the child and I'm, I'm going to put the gun away. She's so about 12, 13, 14, that's out of her way. Yeah. 15. And she um, says, oh, you're back home early. <laughs> it sounds excited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your dad's just get a, just getting something from the house for us. He forgot. We have some business back at the shop. Okay, and it's a three-story house. You can see. Um, so, uh, okay, he goes. I suppose you and better grab, come in. I kind of push him by the shoulder and be like, "Come on." Yeah. So he goes into the sitting room. Try to close it. It's, uh, it's called a mud room. So this is where, you know, like it's shitty. So there's a stand there for boots and you take off your mu muddy boots and put on your house shoes. So he says, um, uh, uh, I suppose, uh, can I take off my, I don't want to dirty up the house. Sure. Yeah, take them off. I've just, no I just noticed I've no staircase. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you where the stairs. Yeah, so in the corner here is the stairs. <laughs> I just realized I never drew a staircase up on the first floor. So in the corner of the mud room, there's the stairs leading upstairs. There's also a door just below him. Um, and there's a door uh, just underneath the staircase. So you can see those doors on, on the thing, I think. key and the combination um uh the uh the, the key is upstairs in my bedroom you, you, and you, go get it, so. you hear a banging from upstairs oh. does it sound like from an attic <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't you can't identify exactly where in the house it is yeah. Why yeah. in the attic? Remember, corners and door, corners and doors, people. Watch corners and doors. Um. Well, you better get up them stairs. Yeah, you better go upstairs. Yeah, better go upstairs. So I, I, Slowly. I was gonna reach into his into his, into his pocket. Can I have his hand on the gun, not having okay. it drawn? Uh, and he goes, uh, you, uh, um. Uh, I'll get I'll get the keys. So you, you wait here. You wait here. I'll get the keys. And again, there's a <laughs> boof from no, upstairs. He's, I, he's got. I'm I'm putting the keeping the shotgun out. Of, uh, I'm but I'm gonna pull the gun out now. I'm like, here, come on. Like we're not gonna let you go upstairs by yourself to get a gun. Come back down and shoot us. Yeah. I don't have any firearms in the house. Yeah, we're not yeah. anybody. You just like the house as well. Okay, so you're you're push you're you're pushing them upstairs, are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll actually move all of you. Uh, should this should all work? He said. I'm sorry. Am I unconscious? Are you carrying me around like that? <laughs> no, this is just for observation purposes. The you you're you're okay. actually back in the police station, but it's just so you can see what's going on. Uh, so I you're am? not you're not just sitting there. Uh, you guys didn't bring me. Burn the house down. Well, the only two people of the party that are there is uh robert and uh oh, owen oh right oh, yeah the other right. four are in the police station with you so it, uh, it this is this is just pure for um uh right, right, yeah right. so viewers, viewers. Okay. yeah yeah mm -hmm. um so yeah um you you go upstairs uh so you might have to scroll the map to the right um because yeah. it's sort of tr it's laid out side by side yeah. so it wasn't that changing scenes so uh actually you you shouldn't have been able to see into the bedroom i'm just going to clear that fog there um, so you get up to the, the top of the stairs to where you are, 
and um, you're on the landing. And there's another staircase going upstairs to the attic. To the attic. I'm going to poke the gun into his back and be like, "Well, you better lead the way." Uh, yeah, it's um, yeah. My bedroom is is over here. Um, uh, that's a fucking light switch. Not that. Um, he says, my bedroom is over here. And he starts walking this direction. No, he doesn't. He fucking starts going that way. And you can hear now clearly um, uh, whoever is, which one of you is nearest. Uh, are you? Oh, yeah. Ben, you can hear from the stairs up here. Uh, and yeah. that go up. You can hear there's noise just shuffling around. Uh, and he seems to he seems to flinch every time he hears the noise, but he doesn't say anything. Oh, noisy house guest, Mister White. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I've, I've I've a problem with mice in the attic. It's proving mice. One hundred of them. Or danger mouse or something. <laughs> well, we've seen some pretty big. Uh... Crustaceans mm. here in Innsmouth, so uh, you, so, got, you got Mickey Mouse up there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> are the two of you going Steve into Willie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sticking. I'm sticking to him like glue, like with the, with the gun. And what are you doing, Owen? Um, are you following him as well? He's looking over his shoulder. Yeah, but <clears throat> what's I think what's going through Owen's mind is actually. You know, I think he's thinking, is it, is that Nathaniel Hawthorne or something, you know what I mean? Or is that, is if he's involved, you know, depends what he's involved in, kidnap kids for all we know. <laughs> Could be someone else, we might need to check it out before we leave the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't was... think you wouldn't check out somebody making noise in this probably empty house. Okay, so, so yeah. especially when you have the comfort of a shotgun in your hand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Owen's Owen's not thinking what Ben is thinking, which is some kind of you know mute, mutated son up in the attic, you know, <laughs> some <laughs> evil twin child or whatever. Yeah. Evil Bart. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He he's obviously he's hesitating and he does not want to get the um the the the, the keys. He's really he's going. I I, I have probably. I have money um, somewhere that I, I can find for you. You don't want money. You want the, the pistol. I guess find it his back. I'm just gonna like pull the hammer back and be like, "Come on." Um, okay, he goes. He says, "You can't give this book." He says, "You can't give this book to my bro." He says, "What's in the safe?" He says, "What do you think's in the safe?" There's no money in the safe. I can tell you that now. We know. You know. Did my brother? send you here who's your brother so he no, sort of he sits he sits on the bed um just trying to find because this is weird um do we know who his other brother is oh. no so no. he goes he says you can't you can't he says that book he says i'm keeping he says what's in that safe is a very powerful book and I'm keeping it safe so that my brother can't get it. You can't take it. He said, I'd rather die uh, than let you have that book. And as he's doing this, uh, you, you can see he's looking quite panicked. I was going to ask well, him, who's your brother? Uh, We've never met your brother. He said, Ephraim White. Well, you, you, you wouldn't... Does this book belong to you? No, it was my father. No, Avril? no, it was my father's and my grandfather's book, and it, it's terrible magic. It's terrible magic. It's it allows you uh, possess and take over the body of other people, and oh. my brother. He's, he's looking. He's, he says, "I can't." He says, uh, "He says my brother." Uh, is now inhabiting my his daughter's body. What? He said he stole my daughter his his oh. daughter's body. Um, his his own daughter's body or yes yes his own daughter's body, and he, he's in an attempt to be immortal. And 
she's she's working up in the university in in Arkham. She's she's married to um to a, a poet up who works in the university, and I know he wants the book so that he can take over her husband's body, and that's what he does. He 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 moves. He's trying to, but he can't make the he can't make the uh, the spell permanent without what's in the book. So that's why he needs the book. But I've sworn he's never, and he keeps on trying. He keeps on sending people here to buy it or to steal it. But he says you can't take the book. You can't give it to him. Well, it looks like maybe we 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 have similar goals. I mean, I don't want to book. This book has caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people, and we don't want it in the wrong hands either. And maybe if it's away from you, it's further away from your brother. But see, he won't know where it is. The only reason my brother doesn't kill me uh, is because he knows that I might destroy the book. But if he knows the book is gone, I have no protection. And there's there's a bang, another loud bang from the attic. What the fuck's going we on? We gotta talk about this uh what's going on up there. <laughs> That's no, just... none, of, none of this mice shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh he says I I can't I can't. Here he says, take a look for yourself and he says, but don't let her out. He he gives um he gives you he takes off one of the keys off the key ring and gives it to you. She, he says, uh, uh, my so called wife. What happened? Oh, yeah, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear, a... you hear as if 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 Saint Jane was here, she would say, yeah. <laughs> what, what happened to your wife? Yeah. Your wife does what? I, what I, happened to your wife? He said, something just, to do with your brother. Just, just look for yourself, and you'll see. And then come back and decide what you want to do about the book and the safe. Did your, did your brother do something to your wife? He said, "I'll t no, I'll tell you all, but you won't believe me." So, what are you doing? He's he's sort of he's just starting to cry now on the bed. He's sitting down on the corner of the bed and he's just crying. Taking Taking Robert aside. You believe him? Uh, well, we've seen a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> um, I mean, we know that not everybody in this town is <clears throat> in on it, so to speak. Some of them want out. Um, I know what it's like to grow up somewhere shitty that you don't want to be. Tips not feel like you can't get out. Yeah. I wonder if we got that book, could we help that, that man's daughter who he's possessing? Hey, wait. Yeah? If you can use that book, like my colleague here said, if you can use that book to take over somebody's body, could you use it to kick him out I, I I don't know I've never I just now under the power that's and I've never read it um, or anything I, I just decided to keep it safe away and it's the only way I know so I, I don't know I don't know maybe perhaps you need to talk to someone who knows about this stuff again there's another bang from the attic upstairs <clears throat> which Gets another couple of sobs out of Wyatt. And he gives, he's, he's pushing the key into your hand, the attic. He goes, you can have a look. Uh, is it to turn the camera off for a second? Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just cover it for a second. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, um, talk to the end of it. Yeah. I, I, if if yeah. you know, Phil, I don't know if, but his, um, um, uh, no, um, wait, uh, the, the, you know, his knee sort of, the yeah. body that the brother's possessing, yeah, or the the other characters, obviously, 
Uh, I mean, there's a, it's a bit of a last resort, but there's if 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 the body isn't salvageable, if we killed the brother, would his you know would his spirit die with the body? It's, it's, we, you know, he's thinking. Yeah, this might be good thought process, but White's not gonna either. White won't tell you, or White doesn't know. You're not gonna. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's something for a different day, I'd say. So I think. We gotta. I suppose we gotta look in the attic. We're not really yeah, getting we'll in. Make way yeah. Okay, so the the stairs up is where Mikey's got his mouse there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I'm just gonna tell White to stay there, so basically, and. Okay. Basically, with gun drawn. Yeah. Um, be cheek gingerly making her way up um, the stairs. Yeah. Oops, just... Ugh. Right, I'll, I'll move you. I'll, I'll start moving you over to the uh, upstairs now, and I want to do this in such a way that I don't reveal everything. Um, yeah, I've got the gun drawn. Does Robert? Does Robert want Owen you to want... go first with this? Are you taking? Minimize... Do you want us to minimize the browser, and, and then you can tell us when to open it back up, so we haven't revealed Actually, everything? No, I should be okay if I do it one by one. I, I, oh, so I'm why it's staying there anyway? Anyway, I'm on okay. the Yeah. Okay. So. What do you say, Owen? The shotgun for the spread shot? Yeah, I think that'll probably be the... Yeah. I mean, there's still a decent chance that this guy's a, a very good actor and he sent us up to... Yeah, I hit all Like, shit, like, double taps us in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good, yeah. So... Discord is, or not Discord, um, it's very bad for this sort of stuff. Uh, it's very hard to move people around uh, unbeknownst to themselves in this. Right, let me just clear this here now. Okay, so, again, sorry. Yeah, so user, uh, actually, Ben is outside the house for some reason. Or, um, no, no, you stay there. Okay, so, uh, right, just go up the stairs. Uh, you've left Wyatt downstairs as he's crying on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're up the top of this. You've come up to the top of the attic stairs, and uh, right beside the attic stairs, uh, where I'm just moving on to, uh, and where's Robert? Oh, there's Robert. There is a door, a metal door. And you can hear a, you can hear a, you can hear a noise from in there. Call out, yeah, Mrs. Wyatt, <laughs> and, and you can hear noise from the other side of the door. All right, okay, do we just basically go up either side of the door, gun drawn, kick it in? Well, you have a key, <laughs> you have to kick it in. Oh, you mean as in, like, as oh, in, yeah, like... yeah, yeah, okay, so. We unlock it. I'll have the gun pointed. We're also, we're also neither was it like are like trained. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. that soldiers right. Like, well, like, one of one of the trained gone. cops is bleeding out in the uh, yeah <laughs> the other side of town. So okay, um, I'm gonna point the d two barrels and he's like, okay, Robert, turn the key. He's like, turn the key and get the fuck back <laughs> as quick as okay. you can. So. so I have unlocked the door, so I've unlocked the door. Okay. So, yeah, you kind can click on the door if you want to open it. Poking the door with the... It probably won't work. Poking the door I'm with the... I'm trying uh, to click on it. There's nothing happening. It's open. It took a, it took a second there. I right, yeah. double, double tap it. He's, like, kind of trying to push the door with the barrel of the gun, you know. Open. <laughs> Here in, dickhead. <laughs> Scared the shit out of Um. Right. Who's going first? Okay, I've got the shotgun. <laughs> 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 So, long, the, the as hole. you do that, um, 
from stop there a second. So as you do that, this creature. So you're gonna to need to take a sanity check. Uh, uh, so roll. The two of you need to roll uh, sanity checks there, please. Sorry. The. Oh, I passed. Okay, Owen, you didn't pass, so I need one D6 plus one sanity okay. loss. Oh, one D6 plus one. Oh. Okay, Fuck so me. You've, you've gone temporarily insane. Uh, so you yeah. let out a high-pitched, girly screech, and you drop, you drop the shotgun, okay? And uh, you take seven sanity dust, and I come back. To you. So you are now temporarily yeah. insane. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Um, How much do I lose? You lose one on a pass. And yeah. with that, as this creature, this abomination of this sea, this that's nothing like a, a sort of walking dolphin. This is a pure a hybrid uh, monstrosity. Runs at huge speed out the door. That you just opened, and heads off down the stairs. That's some ugly looking wife. Yeah. So, um, you are. Uh, so let me just check what else happened. Bout of madness. Uh, so you've gone into uh, that. Uh, so what else happens? Bout of madness. Uh, okay. So I have to roll for what's wrong with you now. Um. So seven, that's what I want. So sixty-six. Sixty-six. Okay, uh, where are we? Sixty-six. So you are okay. I have that one. That I'll you. I've forgotten anything else. Uh, this is going to last for Bouts of Madness. Right. I'm sure for getting something else to do. Uh, okay. And this is going to last. Okay, so right. Okay, I'll do that there now. I'll do this. So you've gone a bit mad. You're screeching. You've lost. You've lost the plot altogether. Uh, that thing has run down the stairs, gone down the stairs. What are you doing, Mikey? Your man's uh, just gone into a heap there. He's wet himself. <laughs> well, I'm grabbing the shotgun anyway. Okay. <laughs> and I'm running oh. towards the door. I'm not really going out the door, but I'm literally staying out the door with the shotgun pointed at, towards him. And I'm kind of calling back to Owen, kind of like, are you okay? <laughs> I think I take that as a no. <laughs> um, I think I'll go back and start trying to like pick one up off the ground, basically. Like, come on, we gotta get out of here. Okay, so sorry, what we have to do? I knew I've forgotten something. So you, you. You've gone with after your sanity check. You now need to roll. Um, you need to roll. Uh, sorry, what is it uh, on your chat? This is so long since we've had one of these. I'm just looking for your character sheet there. You basically have to roll to see is it permanent? Has it actually uh, something that you have right. assimilated into your brain or not? So I you need to roll. Um, Fuck was it? An intelligence oh, test. An intelligence. Thing, intelligence. Yeah. You need to roll an intelligence. Thing. You want to get less than your. Uh, so your intelligence is uh, yeah, it's ninety. Bad if you, if, this so is the thing, it's bad if you've higher because you, yeah. you understand. Yeah. What you so think. you want to yeah. fail this test. So you want to roll the intelligence and you want to fail it. Great time to have ninety intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you failed the intelligence test and uh, in sense, so you have fully rationalized this. Uh, so um, yeah, we'll come back to that. <laughs> so you are you've you've fucking lost the plot altogether for the moment. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Just lock me in the attic. <laughs> you actually, you have thirteen points. So if you lose three more, you are really fucking mentally fucked. You're gonna have a complete yeah. breakdown. Um. Okay. So um. Right. You're you're just a blubbering mess on the ground there, Robert. What are you doing? Don't say blubber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'm trying to drag him out of the attic. Trying to like. Okay. Like, get and up basically. Uh, right. Uh, the two of you need to do a strength test. So you're actually uh, you're opposing him. If, if you fail the strength test, Owen, you will actually be um, you will actually move. So so Robert Robert failed anyway. So it doesn't matter. So you can't move him. Um, maybe ten seconds has gone past. You can hear from outside the house. You hear screeching. Girl, yeah, on the swing. Yeah, yeah, on the swing. <laughs> oh, she's a bit more excited now. Yeah, and okay, what are you doing, guys? Uh, I mean, can I? Is Owen able to do much of anything at the moment? You, you can move. Basically, you will let yourself be guided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if that's the case, with the gibbering and yeah. yeah. Nice cup of tea. I'm not. I said a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Um, you hear, you hear, um, Wyatt himself shouting, what have you done? And rushing down the stairs. So you can hear him heading off down the stairs to outside as well. Okay. He gave us the fucking key. Yeah. <laughs> he also said not to let her out. <laughs> yeah, he also could have told us. We asked him yeah. what it was. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move you downstairs, okay? Yeah. So, because I think it's time to wrap up for this evening anyway. So, this is a good juncture. So, yeah, yeah. basically, you get out the front steps and you can see uh, Wyatt's wife uh, and she's eating the last of the child, of her daughter. Oh, wow. And uh, Wyatt's uh, unconsolable. And she stops eating the child. And the child is just in little bits. And she just goes over and stands uh, staring devotedly at uh, Wyatt. So, I mean, in fairness, that probably calls for another sanity check. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, actually, that's not a bad call. I think that is a something that you're insane. So you're it's uh, we, but we will roll. Uh, we actually will roll um, the sanity check for the two of you there, please. Yeah. See, can you go insane? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm fucked. I was 97. Okay, so the two of you are going to lose another D6 sanity. Another two gibbling D6 gibbling plus one or D6? Just D6. One. One, okay. And um, Owen? Do not roll. How do I... Oh, sorry, I... Five. Okay, so you are gone indefinitely insane, all. Um, so you're basically going to be mad, a bit mad forever. Um, yeah. I, I'll do up what actually happens to the characters and, and, and whatever. So, but you're yeah. fucked. You're mentally fucked now. You've <laughs> just gone over breaking point, and there's no coming back for you. Uh, basically, the lore uh, with deep ones are the reason why they have to mate with uh, humans is because, uh, and Wyatt will explain this to you, uh, is the reason that uh, the Deep Ones force humans to take mates uh, of, um, with them is that they can't mate themselves because they'll actually only always eat their own children. They eat their own kind. Uh, so basically, you have to mate with them and then they get locked away because otherwise they will just try and devour their young. Um, so that's why she was locked in the attic. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, that was probably a bad idea. Mm. Uh, letting her out. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, probably a bad idea having a child with one. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, they did ask. In fairness, they asked what was going on. He wouldn't tell them. He said that to he wouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, I know, but it was needs oh, to get oh, his moving back. a bit. Uh, Can I pop a shot off the shotgun at her? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah? Yeah, you, if yeah, that's what you want to do, yeah. Um, I don't have the shotgun actually on me. I'll pop off the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I picked up his, but I haven't got it in my um, inventory. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
it's ah, what... it's fine. We'll leave it. Okay, because you will we'll probably the... we'll resolve it at the start of next week. I'll do the character sheets up. Okay, guys. Um, so. Archibald, to sum it up, Archibald is really bad. And in Cthulhu, uh, one HP from a shot like that, he's he's um, at the end of a bed rest, he's going to get one back. Like, so he's fairly fucked. Um, uh, Robert is our be- our own has gone mental, literally. Yeah. He's gone insane. Uh, I'll have to read up the rules. Just my backups. <laughs> yeah, to start making up, see how long he's going to last. Insane for, uh, and yeah, Nathaniel. When you left the police station with Nathaniel, or not with Nathaniel, with Brian, uh, Brian suddenly went. That's Nathaniel's car over there. Yeah. And you said, "Well, so yeah." He goes, "No, he was released. He should be home by now." What? And he's he's obsessed. He's he's why is why is why is Nathaniel's car still here? So he's obsessed with that. What are why is it still here? So uh, what are they going to? What do they want with him? They said he he was being released. So that's what he's getting obsessed about. Um, is where you are. Uh, so he's in a bit of a meltdown. Archibald is in a bad way. But he's not dying anymore, and Owen has just lost the plot altogether. He's just one picture to Mad Eye Moody now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll just stop the stream there. So uh, thanks very much if you've uh, managed to stay with us for that. Um, ah! <laughs> yeah. That's why he gets the big bucks. Um, 